Yep, Charlemagne the guy. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of brilliant idiotness. And this week's podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Mm -hmm. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. All in one place, all on your terms. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's Squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Let's start the show. Hezekiah Walker. Yo. What's the word? I'm um, chilling, man. How are you? I'm blessed, black, and highly favored. I feel like you got something on your mind. What's up? Man, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a little uh, I'm a little stressed, but it's okay. We're here. We're, we're living. That's right. Life is good. That's right. We got nothing to complain about. God is good, God man. God is good all the time. I spent some time with my daughter today. I, I went back and I, I spent... I, See, I hadn't I hadn't played with her while she's on the bed. I played with her when she's on the floor. She's in the little like swing okay, thing, okay, or like the bouncy thing, okay. But the bed is just the coolest thing in the world. It's so big to her. It's probably like an ocean. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She's so happy. <laughs> she's safe. It's comfortable yeah, yeah, on yeah. the floor. I'm 40. My knees are fucking cracking yeah, and shit. It's awful. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. And so I had an amazing afternoon. So I feel I, I'm 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 grateful. She saved that. us. She starts crawling a little bit. And then they you got to keep right her in the middle of the bed. Take yeah. two pillows. Put them on each side of her. Yeah. You know. Shouldn't when did do, you, you guys do that now? When did you let them sleep with you? When did they stop? Wait, 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 wait. They wait, still wait. do. Like, uh, but at what age would you let them sleep in the bed? Don't they say you're not supposed to do it in, in the beginning because it's dangerous? I don't know. Oh, because you might roll over. The baby might roll over that, in the sleep. You might roll over shit, I think, is like people who are on drugs or alcoholic are like fucking yeah, it over for the rest of us. Or fat because yeah, they don't yeah, feel yeah, anything. Yeah, 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 they don't yeah, even yeah. feel the bed. Yeah. Say again. Why are you taking her in the bed with you? She should be right next to you. But it's fun to have an adorable yeah, little baby in the bed. I feel like you're messing up like the boundaries, like when they get older. The boundaries? <laughs> Taylor, you call your parents right now. You probably used to crawl in their bed when you was five, six years old. <laughs> nah. No. Yes, you did. <laughs> uh -huh. Taylor, what are you talking about? The bed? <laughs> boundaries. Baby can't have boundaries. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> boundaries. Baby said crawled. boundaries. You know what I'm talking about, though. It's like it's certain like. When you raise a child, you don't want them to be like super dependent on you. Like, oh, I actually know what you're talking about. You're saying that like they'll always want to sleep in the yeah. bed if you start them like that. Yeah. And I have heard about that. Yeah, when they young, I mean, when they get a little older to know that, to understand. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah, I think yeah, I don't yeah. know. I never thought about it. I don't know. I mean, I think it's more. Shout out to all the parents, though. Shout out to all the parents setting boundaries with their babies, man. Because <laughs> no, it's more terrifying if they're not there. Because what if they like choking on their throw up and no, you're not? Of course, you know, like, why don't you have it right next to the bed then instead of having it in? Then they be crying all night. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's, that's... <laughs> Shout out to all the babies, though. Babies need boundaries, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, need boundaries, man. What do we? We got where do we want to go man where Yo, do we what are you start? what are you feeling what is what is your what's on your mind what are you emotional about this week what am i emotional about this week what has impacted you this week you know what i was really was thinking about talk to me i was thinking about like the person who made napkins <laughs> or the person who made like hand soap and how peaceful their life must be I Cause they don't gotta do shit. That just the money's rolling. The in, money's exactly. just rolling. And don't get me wrong. I mean, we all, you know, you know, have created, uh, you know, horizontal money as I like to call it. Horizontal money is when you are, you know, sleeping and you bringing the money in. But I'm talking about when like your your sweat equity, your physical presence is not needed in any way, shape, yes, or form. Yes, a mature business. Basically. Yeah, because I was just thinking about that, like. I got up this morning, went to do Breakfast Club, had a couple interviews after Breakfast Club, then had to go. Uh, Workout, well, like everything's scheduled, right? So, Breakfast Club, interviews, haircut, workout, um, come back in the city, yep, photo shoot, yep, come come do brilliant idiots, yep. like everything, and then I'm like I'm I'm trying to get here because I'm like I know Andrew got to be somewhere, yeah, like it's all of our time is what I'm saying. I'm just waiting for I'm not, I went in the bathroom and I was like, 
Yo, the person who made these toilet paper, toilet, this toilet paper, not even moving, not even they haven't fucking even left moving. The house. We don't even know who Bounty is. No, you know what I'm saying? No, this motherfucker just came up with names for shit. Two ply, millions. We trillion. put it up our ass. Yeah. Didn't even ask no questions. No ego about it. No nothing. And they weren't making that much money in the beginning. Then what do you do for a living? Oh, I make toilet paper. Everybody laughing at them. What if Bounty's gay? Probably. What if Bounty? Who the, wants toilet paper more than gays? But what if Bounty was like, <laughs> I want my name. In everybody's ass. Yo, this guy's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just what if? Have you thought about that I've ever? Never thought. You know what I'm saying? What if? What if he said, I want my name in yeah. everybody's asshole around the fucking world? Yeah, I mean, that is that is an accomplishment. Come on, man. That is an accomplishment. You the, you're, right the, you're the you're the that's who made Bonnie Toilet Paper? Joseph, Joseph Gady. Holy no. shit. Holy <laughs> shit. No, no, no. Joseph Gady. No. Is, his name is Joseph Gady. He Gady's. made the toilet paper, not Bounty. Still, he made the toilet paper. I, Joe <laughs> Gay. The Gay. Who knew? <laughs> who Joe, the fuck knew? Joey Gay made toilet paper. But think about it. Who benefits the most from it? Gays. 100%. Absolutely. Straight, straight dudes Absolutely. don't really need toilet paper, let's be honest. Absolutely. We don't even wipe that good. Absolutely. You don't, have, have you ever had a boyfriend? <laughs> toilet paper is the bottom's their, best friend. Their food. underwear got doodle marks in it, right? First of all. Yes or no? <laughs> their underwear got doodle marks in it. Do your Wait, underwear have doodle so marks? Don't, y'all don't use the wet wipes? The only reason you wipe is because we hit it from the back. Does Dang it. Not That's the only it. reason. If you, I promise you women Wait, would not you wipe. You don't use wet wipes? Go For get what? your wet wipes. Oh, Go get I your use it if I wipes. spill some like coffee on the dining you don't table. You use wipes in your ass? No, that shit is super Joseph Gaiety. <laughs> super <laughs> Joe Gaiety. No, that shit is Gaiety. Joe, Joe Gaiety. Joe Gaiety. How do you pronounce Gaiety. that? For Google how to pronounce that, Taylor. Joseph Gaiety. I think it's pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> he made yeah. toilet paper. Yes, but the, but the benefit the, the, the benefit for gay men, toilet paper changes everything. It doesn't change. It's a bottom of best friend. You Ain't know a top because you're taking it down. You don't got to push through that doodle wall. There's a whole doodle wall that you had to push it through before Joseph Gady. Or you were wiping with your dungarees or some shit. Salute to all the bottoms, man. You know, we just wanted to warm up, you know, by showing y'all some love. No, 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 no. It's the tops. <laughs> the thing about it, the bottoms don't got to deal with their doodle layer. The tops have to poke through. That's how toilet paper. Joseph Gady. Gayetti, hey, listen, you get rid of the ayet and the aper, what do you got? I don't know even what you're talking about. Right <laughs> toilet paper. If you get, get rid, rid of, of the, the ayet and the aper, what do you got? <laughs> get rid of the I L E T and the A P E R. T P? Top! T-O-P. <laughs> you get rid Jesus of Christ. the I. Yes. I <laughs> get rid of the I, L, to E, T, the A, to P, to E, and the R, and you get top. Listen. Joseph Gady, a well-known top, invented toilet paper. Listen, um, <laughs> Michael Jordan once said, you miss every shot you don't yeah. take. You got to shoot. You, you got to goddamn got shoot. to shoot. Okay? Speaking okay. of shooting. Yes. Shout out to Canada, man. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening in Canada? Shout out to Canada, man. What happened in Canada? Aubrey Graham, yo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aubrey Graham. Can we talk about how we're involved in yeah. this great beef? <laughs> yeah. In the Avengers Endgame of rap beefs, how we are intimately involved? Oh, yeah, because Metro Boomin and uh, Future uh, used us for, what was it? The intro, the right? Intro. Mm -hmm. Number one intro. Yeah. Literally intro. Shout out to Future voice. Metro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I yeah. agree Shout out accordingly. Shout out to Future and Metro releasing albums and then sending the clearances after the fact. Yo, did, it, did they send you something? Yeah. They, they did? Yeah. They you know what's didn't. funny? We're going to play the, the intro on this episode and they're going to flag our audience. <laughs> and it's our audience. I guarantee if we play the intro on this episode, they're going to flag our audience. It's our audience. I ain't tripping, no. They sent it to, they sent it to Dove, too. Wait, so can we win a uh, can we win a, an award? Can we win a Grammy? I it's don't know. It's not gonna be like it's on the album. Award. Yo, see it's how on the see album. how you do. See how you type a little. <laughs> Let's hear. It. This is my first time on a rap album. Agreeing. Let's hear it. This is from We Still Don't <laughs> Trust at, You. Yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> Let's hear. It. I saw Act talking about that. Act was talking about how he don't think um, Drake. He said, "Hold on, take that." Act was saying he don't think Drake is gonna put a. Uh, push up on DSPs because they ain't sent him no paperwork for clearance. 
And I'm like, hey, that's not how this shit work no more, my boy. <laughs> All right? Because we just got, we ain't get paperwork till after this nah, shit nah, was nah, out. Nah, they let that shit cook. Okay, let me hear it. Let me hear it. I'd rather hurt me for a I can find a million future cold dollar on the Facts. I don't think there's any rapper that has influenced culture. I agree in music. I agree in future over the last. Facts. I think future has influence. Yes, he does. People want to be future. That's a, that's a fact. Mm. I don't like future. So why would we have him? It's not victory. It's a fantastic four. The future is a day. Stand by all that. Wait, he might be the truth. That's right. He might be the one. That's all facts. What I say wrong? Yo. By the way, I said that before y'all shitted on Cole. You know, y'all done booted Cole out the big three because all he did was a little apology. Yes. Y'all done, I said that before. Yeah. Okay? Just yeah. want to throw that out there. Yeah. But can we talk about my part of it? I agree. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree set it off, yo. Yo, because think about it. It's think the about, perfect ad think, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah. Think about it. I'm the voice of the people. <laughs> yeah. You have this great monologue that you're going on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. if I don't agree, you're just talking to yourself. That's right, that's right, that's right. But now that you're saying that, it's, what is it? What is it? Uh, the pastor says something beautiful. Amen. Amen. That's right, amen. Church. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. That's Tabernacle. Right. God is good. Preach. Absolutely. All the time. Yes, indeed. <laughs> that's what it is. So that, what you need is that back you and forth. A lot it. of people said it was one of the greatest agrees in history. I think so. <laughs> they I, literally I think so. did. I think so. They said the Louisiana Purchase, I think it was the, when the French agreed, they <laughs> yeah. were like, whatever they said in French, they were like, yes. that was a pretty good one. Yes. They yes. said, um, and then me. Yes. I think, I think it was just those two. And that was it, it. And then it goes into a fire song. What's that song that comes on after that? that? The, uh, what was that shit called? Hold on. I was just listening to that shit, That's man. That's funny. I ain't even listen. That shit. No, I did listen to it. No, it, it, no. the song was great. And also just the way that we, it, you know, the momentum that we Fantastic did, job. Honestly, the next song might not even be that good, but you're so hyped up. Yep. <laughs> Nobody knows my struggle. Ooh. Ooh. Nobody knows my struggle. Shout out to Metro and Future. Y'all got that. Y'all can have a clearance. Yep. We were, don't worry about it. We got you. We got you, man. Um, but Drake. I mean, he he's nice. The kid is nice. Listen, the first kid of all, is nice. let's let I'm gonna give Drake, I wanna I wanna I wanna salute Drake and 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 and, and tell Drake that I really, really, really Appreciate this, this. <laughs> Go, okay. No, man, because this shit is so this, this shit guy. is so hip hop. This guy. I didn't think he wanted it with Kendrick in but any way, shape, or he form. He wanted. Yeah. Not only did he want it, he understands the level of competition. See, I think Drake learned a lot from the Duppy freestyle. Mm. I think he learned a lot from his little kerfuffle with Pusha T. Mm. Cause he puts out the Duppy record, right? And Duppy. Duppy was a little too emotional and it wasn't as focused as I'm used to seeing Drake when he's in war mode. See, when Drake was in war mode against Meek, it was all calculated. Mm. You know, the charged up, four days later, he comes out with back to back, you know, everything from, you know, actually sending me the bottles to, you know, you've heard stories of black back to back playing in Meek's hotel room yeah, it was over and over while he was in Toronto. Orchestrated. You know, the, 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 the cover of the back to back where it's like, um, you think Barry Bonds or something? No, I don't think no. it's Bonds. Somebody, uh, is somebody from the Blue Jays? I forgot who it is. But everything meant something is what I'm saying. Like, everything. And so, I didn't get that from the Duppy. Because I felt like it was Pusha T was his op, but he didn't really have much on Pusha T, so he was just beating up on Kanye. Mm. And it didn't hit the same. And I think that's what caused him to end up, you know, um, losing that, 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 that round to Pusha T. Right? Because Pusha T came out with Story of Adenon, which, just real quick, very, 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 very slept on this record, and I'll tell you why. Do you know, when you think about it, Pusha T fucked up a multi-million dollar endorsement deal yeah. with Adidas? Because <laughs> he jumped out the window and stepped on Drake's rollout. Wow. Then he stepped on Drake's, the rollout for Drake's son. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, That's got to piss you off in a different way. Yeah. So if you Drake, you either engage or, in rap or do something that's going to cost you or somebody you love to end up in jail, right? Oh, wow. So that's probably why he's like, you know what? I'm going to step, uh, I'm going to yeah, back yeah, the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Because we know skill-wise, Drake got it. He nice. He nice. So with this, the reason I love this because it's so calculated. First of all, Go back to Rap Gene. He starts off with an intro from Woo Kid. 
I didn't know that that was in there on purpose. <laughs> I thought Wu Kid had got the record before everybody else, too, yeah. and people was ripping it off Sirius Satellite Radio. And why is it a big deal to have the Who Kid in? Because Who Kid used to be Fifty Cent's DJ. So at the height of all of that G Unit beef, when Fifty Cent was shitting on everybody, you know, via mixtapes, Who Kid? You always heard that. Oh, so it's war mode. Come on. Come on, that's that's so hip hop. How's the kid from Canada out hip hop and all you motherfuckers? I'm man? saying that's be that one little touch is like, oh, that's hip hop. White people up. <laughs> yo, 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 white boys is up right now, Taylor. <laughs> I could never be nobody's number one fan. Directly referencing Future, okay? Directly referencing Future because Future says that on what what album was that? Future says that on. Um, yeah, we don't trust you. What's the line? You a nigga number one fan, dog. Sneak this and I don't understand, dog. Then he comes back and says, your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Oof. Boom. Oof. That's the way too sexy. You pussies can't get booked outside of America for Nan. I don't know if that's true, though. I'm sure Future can get booked outside of... But I, he, he not was, in the same way. Not in the same way. The cultural yes. influence and the ticket sales don't hit the same outside yes. of America. Yes. That's true for most acts. Yes. Uh, I'm, now, here's this next line. I'm the hit maker y'all depend on. No, no, before that, I'm, I'm out, out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. You think that's dick size or what? I, it's got to be a double entendre. Got to be a double entendre. Is there a girl named Tokyo? <laughs> I just told you talking about the size of yeah, cops in Japan. That's oh, no, I'm out in Tokyo. Not really a flex, though. That's what I'm saying. If you I got think, a bigger dick in Japan. I be, right, though? That's not a flex. Right? <laughs> See what I mean? That is a good point. It's like being the tallest Mexican. That's what I'm saying. So I, you know what I, mean? I, I think it's... I th it is. Right, but, I, but but what I'm saying, but I think it means something else. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. What else does that mean? Well, based off the first line, it just means I'm you. You can't get booked outside of America. I'm all the way in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. But I think it's a double entendre. I think it means that on face value, and there's another meaning that we don't know. I'm the hit maker y'all depend on, which is a fact. We know this. That you is know true. what I'm saying? He's been writing a lot of hits for a lot of people for a long time. I don't, I'm not, I can't even go through all of this line for line because I'll be all over the place. I will say the reason I like this record so much is because, number one, it's very hip-hop. Number two, Drake is rapping his ass off. Number three, I didn't know what angle he was going to take <laughs> against Kendrick Lamar. I was in here saying that Kendrick Lamar is bulletproof as an MC. Right? Yeah. You notice he ain't coming was, at Kendrick as a rapper. You was in here calling everybody scared. You were saying nobody wants it with the boogeyman. You were saying a lot. Well, I did that on purpose. Uh, oh, to make him do this? I was hyping shit up. <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, oh, is, is you guy? knew that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, yes. I don't think Drake's scared. Drake uh, out there. Come I'm, on. He I, got me. <laughs> But I will say I, he sticks <laughs> on the I don't think Drake is willing to do it. <laughs> You and don't think that's what? getting and back guess, to truth? And guess what now? Bars. Kendrick is on the fucking clock. He's and it the clock is Kendrick been is on the while. fucking clock. It's been ticking. It for took a while. Drake three weeks. No, it did not. It took two Drake weeks. two weeks. No, okay, let's okay. Uh, okay, let's talk about Big this. Whoop. How many weeks did it take Cole? Mm. To respond to Kendrick. Yeah, a couple days. One. How many weeks did it take Drake? Two. Why? Because he was on tour. As soon as Who he got off, as soon as he got off tour, he got right Who back to him. He was on tour. Hey, hey. Okay, hush. You, you're too much of a fan. Down. Yeah, Pip Squeak, Pip Squeak, exactly. Yo, Pip Squeak, Pip Squeak, Pip Squeak, Pip Squeak. I'm, 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 I'm taller than you and Kendrick. But listen, but I love Kendrick. But Kendrick is on the clock, and I'm gonna tell you why Kendrick's on the clock. I like this. This is not a beef that just happened. This is a beef where both of them have been throwing subliminals at each other for years now. Years they've been getting at each other. Kendrick, three weeks Drake ago... Drake is not just responding. Kendrick, three weeks ago, started all of this shit back up mm -hmm. on the, um, the, the Like That record, which is the number one record in the country for three weeks in a row. He started it back up. J. Cole got right back to him a week later, even though he apologized, but he still got right back to him. Drake, uh, what, a week after Cole, got right at him. 
Kendrick Why are you seem like Drake hasn't... We've been waiting for Drake to respond for Kendrick. And he, so not, why, not, by the way, not only did he respond... Not, this year. Not, not only did he respond, he went further than Kendrick ever has. Mm. Kendrick oh just been giving... Kendrick just been giving... I don't him, like your little flip. It's not a flip. It, it's it's a being flip. objective. It's You're not a flip. You're being mad flip. No, she, y'all, y'all, her problem is she's like a fan. Yeah, she's a fan. Like, yeah. And I'm a so fan, what? too. So why? Why can I be a fan? You should be an objective. I'm not going to be You should be an objective. Don't be a dick rider. Yeah, don't be a dick rider. How am I being a dick rider? You're the one being a dick rider right now. You're not being objective. You're not being a dick rider right now. Props? You look at you, how you riding dicks? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving them props. Sick. Like, oh my God, I had never heard Gadget do this. Like, calm it down. No, you calm you, it down. No, because you're not, if you were not, like, Yo, if you yeah. were friends, if you were cool with both of them, <laughs> like this. Yeah. or cool I don't know, how, but I'll tell you, let's be clear. I don't know either one no, of these no, niggas. No, no, I'm saying. Oh, I'm no, 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 let's be clear. I don't need nothing from either one of these niggas. I'm not saying I that. I don't know Kendrick Lamar. Uh, I don't know Drake like that. that. Uh, but take you don't that. have to be so hype. Why? Like, I like hip hop. You really hyping I on, love hip hop. He was riding on Kendrick's a lot longer than Drake. And so I'm still with Kendrick. Be... Time out. I still got faith in Kendrick, but let's no, be correct. Did. That's not what you said when you came in here. Is that what he said? No. Nope. Exactly. Nope. Stop playing. <laughs> what did I say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hype you up. No, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, so I can explain. Go ahead, go ahead. Tell me what you said. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, think, I think you said, yo, I don't think they can handle Drake. No, what I said was... No, you I'm said not, I think Drake no. might win. That's what y'all you really, y'all really need a lot yeah. of media. Both. But first of all, let, let me. Let, I do. First this of all, is first brilliant. Of all, let, let me finish my point. Right first now, of all. he's brilliant. First of all, let me finish my point. <laughs> Number one, Drake, phenomenal diss record. I'm not a hater. Okay, I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater or somebody who's so fanned out over somebody I can never be objective. Hip hop is this. This is dope. You know what I like in this rap? I like the fact that I didn't know what angle he was going to take with Kendrick. Uh. Because Kendrick is so <laughs> bulletproof as an MC. Yeah. But he didn't go after the MC route. What angle did he take? The business route. Ooh, went the business the route. The business route, which could come back and hurt him. Are you? Are you? And the hype? reason the reason it could come back and hurt him because everybody knows Drake had a kind of rough deal. Drake had a lot of bad. He was signed to a lot of people at one point. I don't know about now. So maybe he's baiting him. Maybe he wants him to come for his business. Well, Pusha put that out there too. Ooh. Pusha had put that in the record. Pusha put how you know Drake was caught up in all of these different deals. But I still like the angle because this is a double entendre too. Because not only did Kendrick have to give top fifty percent, which is actually a fantastic deal for a new artist. Is that good? 50% for a brand new artist that you started from scratch? Top could get 80, 90. Wow. <laughs> like, wow. Like, Top could get everything I didn't realize if he that. wanted to. God damn. Can you break that down, though? So is he just getting 50% of all his back catalog or everything? I, I have no idea. Oh, okay. I don't I know. Think. I mean, I, he could still be getting 50 now for all I know. I really don't know. Maroon 5 no need a verse. You better make it witty. Ooh. Ooh. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Before that, he said, and you better do this show in the bitty. What does that mean? If you, if this, I don't know, but if, if Kendrick is affiliated with Bloods, he got to do what they tell him to do. He got to do the song in the bitty. Oh. Okay. And I like this because I'm sure Drake probably gets 50% of all the records he does. Mm. So it's kind of like a double entendre to everyone. I'm going to tell you the line I really like in this shit. I like when he says... um. He says, uh, what's a, what do you say? What's a prince to a king? You my son, nigga. Oof. Because remember Kendrick was like, Prince will outlive Mike Jack. Drake already said he Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. right? Oh. So a prince is is a son to a king. That's and also a Taylor Tiger Michael right Jackson's son, son name is Prince. prince. This nigga's motherfuckers doing some Come fly on. shit on here, yo. Come you can on, say son. what you want. Come on, son. He's doing, yeah. Huh? He said, "Who's son is Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson?" Yo, pay attention, yo. Uh, yeah. pay attention. Michael he's Jackson. A bars. He's, he's, he's a bar. He's spitting some bars on this shit, yo. It's this going is... right over your head. I didn't mm. say he's not spitting bars, but I'm not gonna you be did. as hyper as you. Uh, did. I'm not riding. You don't Drake love hip hop. Shit. You don't love hip hop. No, it's true. I don't need to try to ride Drake's dick too because he put out a fire. So are you riding Kendrick's dick? Absolutely. Why? That's cool. why would you want to ride? But I'm a loyal bitch. He's married. Why are you loyal to him? What happened? He got a girl. He's a married man. Exactly. Why are you? <laughs> Why are you loyal to Kendrick Lamar? Yeah, what is, how old are you? Are you? <laughs> All I know is Kendrick. Like what? How I feel about Kendrick's music? Drake has, and I like Ken, or I like. Drake's I love music. Kendrick's music. I've said I like over and over. Music I think too, Kendrick is the leader. But when it comes to them two battling, I'm going with Kendrick because he just he's my top. I'm going uh, with I'm going I'm going with who got the dopest shit. That's what a battle's okay, about. That's cool, but I'm never just gonna be hyped like how you are. That's all. Because you don't I'm love hip hop. A, I'm not a hoe like you. That's all. You don't Whoa! love hip hop. Oh, bam, bam, bam. You just don't bam, love bam, hip hop. Bam. No, I'm just not a hoe. 
Being a hoe is not being objective. Being a hoe is is, is sticking to a dumbass opinion <laughs> just because you love somebody so much. And I'm not saying your opinion is dumb, but Or you just you, really said that. But you gotta you give you gotta about? give props where props is due. I just said it was no, alright. I never said it was alright in the group chat. I never said it was alright. It's more than that. Okay. I like how Okay, but just because I don't agree with you does not mean that I, I like have to ride his dick. Kayla, I'm not about to argue with you over Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Why are you so upset about this? Because I love how it's going on She's in God damn, Drake, you see. Yo, what you cause? Yo, like, Kendrick, we need you to respond for Taylor because she's going through it right now. Please Jesus come Christ. at fucking Charlemagne what is too. Going on? Going Please come it. at Charlemagne. This is crazy. She's going through it. Going through it. For what? Like, damn. We all love Kendrick. Kendrick ain't taking it this hard. No, he not. He's not taking it this hard. No, Kendrick is in the booth I don't right want now. The white boy to win. Oh, now, now he's, now, now now we he's to, like, that's now crazy. we got to the fucking that bottom of it. Crazy, huh? Son. huh? We got to the bottom of it. <laughs> Kendrick, <laughs> you on the clock. Kendrick, do you see what you're doing to your fucking fans, Kendrick? Yo, this Kendrick, <laughs> do you see what you're doing to your fucking fans? She ready to fight me just because I think Drake got a dope Over the disc. white boy. And now she's like, I don't, I don't want the white boy to the win. The white boy going to win. It just came out. She was tough and then she was like, I don't want the white boy to win. God damn. What's wrong with the white boy winning? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You know what Drake should do? What the white boy win? You know what Drake should do? You know what the white boy should do? <laughs> what should the white boy do? What the white boy should do? What should the white boy do? White boy dropped on Saturday, right? <laughs> the white boy dropped on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. He should drop him. Get, we're recording this on Tuesday. He should drop on Wednesday. White boy Wednesday. He'd be like, I waited four <laughs> days, y'all. Where died at? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I you waited four flip, days. Right? That's where it's You see the flip? It's not a Why flip. Are you giving you too hype. I'm a creative. You too hype. I like to I like to throw shit out there that I would like to see. Aren't you a creative? Four days now. Where where dot at? I would drop back to back too. Oh God! You know why I would do that too? Why? Because number one, Kendrick's on the clock. Yeah. Number two, you can't play with Kendrick either. So you don't know what he's coming with. So you might as you already did a well calculated drone strike. You might as well drop another goddamn one. Listen, I'll you say might it, as well. I'll that say ball this was often. so hard. I really you don't say this. Wait till the flip happens again. I'm just saying you might be I behind the, the AI. I want to come in here next week and be like, yes, Kendrick. Kendrick is the truth. Yes. I'm not shitting on Kendrick. Kendrick is the guy, but I'm gonna give props for props to do. Why you know are you what? giving? Why are you saying what Drake should do too, though? That's what if Drake? Why not? What if Drake was full? I also said what I thought Rick Ross should do. What if, if I was Rick Ross, I wouldn't. Have, I, as soon as Drake called me racist, I would have got on Instagram and called Drake a Karen immediately. He did and, though. No, he didn't. He called him a white boy. Uh -oh. It's a difference between being a Karen. You called me racist <laughs> to your mom. You're a Karen, okay? Yeah, yeah. Then I would have called him Aubrey Graham Cracker. <laughs> that would have been my next Ooh. day, okay? I'm full of these, Taylor, for mm. everybody. <laughs> Who want them? <laughs> okay? Yeah, I'm full of them. I know. He's That's man. it! He's I'm sitting been... back watching, like, you know yeah. what would be cool? If this happened and that happened, mm. what's Tom. the problem? That's yeah. hip hop. If Kendrick need a ghostwriter, he's right here. So. Right now, wow. Yeah, I got some for Kendrick. I'm just what saying. Do you got? I don't want what to you got? You I got can't some, give us a bar? I got some. Got he needs a little help. So He needs a little help to talk. Now you scared to talk about Kendrick? Mm-mm. Okay, so I don't really have nothing for Kendrick. I, mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't, I haven't even thought you about really, it. You really, you really down bad right now. Yeah. This is sad, yo. You like that song that Drake. Put this out. is what this, and this is why I say Kendrick's I'm on the not clock. It wasn't Kendrick's bad. on the clock for people like you. I know people like you are losing it right She's now. She's holding her breath because two <laughs> things can happen. If Drake breath. drops back to back two and he drops on a Wednesday and he hits him with the. I waited four days. Where died at? Oh my God! That's you think Taylor's spiraling now? Oh my Lord! So, what would you do? Kendrick really got to the weekend, all yo. People out. Kendrick got <laughs> to the weekend, yo. I'm be honest with you. Putting time on him when we've Why? been waiting for Drake to answer the Kendrick for this long, though. They've always been answering each other with subliminals. Yep. The reason I'm putting time on him because Drake went further than Kendrick ever has. Ooh -wee. This is the first. This is a song. Where 70% of it is about Kendrick Lamar. This ain't a couple of bars here, a couple of bars there. He's at you. And Kendrick, he mentions your wife. Mm. That's crazy. He mentioned your That's wife. That's too far. Mm. That's too far. No, he it's mentions not. your wife. What do you mean, no, it's not? Mentioning someone's innocent wife? He got people speculating about whether or not Kendrick's so wife was with bodyguards be, and all types of other shit. Now it's about to be about mm -hmm. his kid. It's up. No, no, you can't talk about yes, children. Yes, you can. And wives yes, are innocent. You can. The, the, Who if, gives a fuck? God damn. damn. It's hip hop, like you said, right? No, I never said that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, listen, man. It just depends how far they want to go. I mean, that was a very witty line. 
that Drake said. And I think Drake once again... Is she again, in the public eye? Is she a public figure? No, finger? not at all. Oof. No, and once true. again, Drake learned from the Pusha T thing because he said... That's too far. Pusha T's wife in the song as well. But when you said Pusha T's wife in the song, I don't think he was ready for what Pusha T came back <laughs> yeah. with. Yeah. I think he ready... <laughs> This time, he's fully aware of the consequences of mentioning a, a wife's it's, it's name in the song. It's not necessarily wife. It's if your if your wife is in the public eye, she's a public figure. That's mm -hmm. one thing. If she's a private person, that's I don't know. I think that's too far. I hope we find out that Drake has another kid somewhere. Wait, you what? Why would you want God that? Damn! Why are you putting that on him? Why do you hate Drake so much? This I is don't crazy. Him. But, but when it comes so to Kendrick, emotional? like now I hope Kendrick don't up. take none of these. Angles uncross your arms, music. yo! You gotta uncross your arms right now. You, your energy's too upset. It's too it's, angry. It's, it's, Kendrick got look at yeah. Kendrick. Damn, Kendrick! You see how you got your fans? <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> damn, yeah, this is, <laughs> Kendrick! <laughs> damn, Kendrick! <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't want to say everything's gonna be all right, but I but don't know. We don't know. Your fans are going crazy. You can't even listen to I right now with the same yes, I can. enthusiasm. I can. Turn it on right now and tell me if you think things going to be all right. They are gonna be you crazy. just said, I don't want the white boy to win. Yo, you really you did. Cry. Yeah, like, you, know damn. you really cried. That's not even bro. the song I go to anymore with Kendrick. What's, What's your the song, song you go, go to? to? You can't count me out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> we not counting him out, Taylor. No, yes, he's are. not. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. This is hip hop. This is what care. it's supposed to be. Until... This is hip hop. Cole came out with some disses we thought was weak. It had nothing to do with who the disses were towards. I thought they were weak. Kendrick came out with some bars a couple weeks ago and like that that I thought was hard. What's a prince to a king? He's this a son. Drake shit. This I push up crazy. is fantastic. Yo, Metro, shut your Whole ass up and make some drums, nigga? That shit mm. is crazy. Mm. Everywhere I go, mm. now that I'm Metro, people gonna be saying that to me. <laughs> you, see how, you see how Taylor's ready to fight? Yeah. How you think Metro gonna feel <laughs> when he just out minding his business and somebody be like, Metro! Shut your whole ass up and make some drugs, man. Like, you're just minding your business in Chick-fil-A somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And this nigga Drake sent a drum line to Magic City. Yeah, yeah that was crazy. He sent a drum line to Magic City. Was Metro in now? I don't even fucking know. It don't know. matter. It don't matter. This guy is not. diabolical. Yeah. I like wartime Drake. I really do. Listen, I like wartime Drake. If we Drake. look at history, the whites are pretty good at war. That's his call. We are that is pretty definitely, good at war. I just want to say. That, that is definitely his colonizer yeah. side. I'm He's saying. He's not exactly. playing. And it's working. Mm. How many times you met Kendrick? Twice. And? What about Were it? Were they impactful for you? Yeah. Does it? Kendrick is a guys, great guy. Soul. Yes. Yeah. Like, aura, all that. Kendrick is a great guy. Fantastic rapper. The best. I say he's the leader of the new school. But I did say when I came in here, I don't no, mm -hmm. if he can win this audience. Talk about and it. what I mean by that Talk is about it. Kendrick is a rapper's rapper. So, okay, this is... Yeah. He's a rapper's rapper. I don't know if he's going to create something that people are going to fully appreciate. I don't want him to overthink it. Like when Drake says, yo, you've been sitting on a, so a song for four years, drop that shit. Right? Yeah. Four years ago is a long time. You could tell Drake just wrote this. You could tell by the references, the 20 versus, 20 versus one, even though it's a double entendre, because, you know, and, and I, Jess Hilarious told me this, because I don't know about no goddamn TikTok, but there's a trend on TikTok, 20 versus yeah. one, yeah. or some oh, shit yeah. like that. Yeah, you know, it's the dating show. The dating like, show, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But it's a double entendre because he's just using that slang. God damn, the song just but, got yo, better. Yo, this song, the song is just got dense. better. It's, it's so dense. dense. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yo, yeah. this guy literally goes, you got me feeling like I'm 50. Mind you, he already did the Woo Kid drop at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. You got me feeling like I'm 50. Then he says, I can't, something like, I can't believe Ross is getting into this. He's almost 50. I might take your girl, cuff her like I'm Ricky. Like, he's just, the fact that you said you're feeling like 50 to spit your oh, two or three Rick cuff Ross. Cuff like I'm Ricky because he was a CEO. CEO yes. Yeah. But before that, he Did goes. you get that? But before that, he goes, you got me feeling like I'm 50. So now, as soon as you about to diss Ross. Let me just show you how much you I You say you're like. feeling like 50. Yeah. Like, this is a dope rap what record. What do I look like to me? What do we look like? <laughs> just two friends? I, I, just two friends showing love of, to each other? She, she show, this shit she's showing us the Jaden Smith and Justin Bieber. That's, and I, you see that? Do you see it? They can have a beautiful relationship where they care about one another. They don't need to make a whole reality show out of it for attention. 
What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I mean? They could just they could just love one another, whether it's straight, gay, doesn't uh, matter. They don't need to make a whole gay. show where they okay. gotta teach people what gay is. <laughs> I, don't even see what they, I don't even see what the problem with this video is. What am I missing in this video? It's just friends loving each other. Why no, can't just, friends love each nothing. other? Coachella? Jaden just likes rubbing his dick. And we don't even know what song was playing. <laughs> and he got a great hairline. <laughs> we don't know what song was playing. What if Juvenile backed that ass up with playing? Facts. That's a Negro spiritual. Exactly. J.J. Reddick there. Word up. That's J.J. Reddick? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But it doesn't matter. The it point don't is fucking men matter, be able man. to love one another, dance with one another, hug on one another. Okay. You know what I mean? That's a beautiful thing. Beautiful How thing. many times you and Alex do that? We've done that before. Dance on one another. Let's see. Go ahead. Because it's not a problem. Yo, why are you trying to <laughs> fetishize? Yeah, why no, are you trying to fetishize gay men, yo? This no is crazy. Yo, why are you trying to fetishize gay men? Kendrick, please gay drop men, a record. We, she's please. Really down bad. My God, Kendrick. She's really down bad. So listen, how much time, your how much time Kendrick got in Taylor? He has um, this week. I oh. No, 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 It's okay. It's okay. Let's drink some water. Listen, we need to drink some water. We just need to calm down. That's what it is. We just need to calm down. Taylor, you're hilarious. We just need to calm down. That's what we need. You're hilarious. Okay? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What's up, Taylor? Andy? Taylor. Kendrick is on the fucking I th clock. I think you convinced it. That's what it is. No, I, think, I yeah. didn't say he's no, got it's this. Fine, yo. It's fine. Kendrick is on the clock. And stop hating on Justin and Jada, man. Let I'm them, not hating. Let I'm Justin and Jada rock look. to the beat. What, how do, why do we look like that just because we love hip hop? It's not good. We giving hip hop props right or, now. Or my bad. Or this is how y'all want to twirl around Drake. So now you shitting on Lil Uzi? This is what y'all want to do. Lil Uzi, your Philadelphia brethren, go Uzi. Ooh. Hit it. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. Vogue. Vogue. Ooh. Hit it. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Sassy. Savage. Sassy. Savage. I love Lil Uzi. Yeah, Lil, Lil Uzi fucking killed that Uzi, shit. yo. He did kill that. He should have been on Legendary. And why you want to hate on him? Yeah. Once again, Even. weaponizing gay. How am I? Yeah. Weaponizing, weaponizing gay. How? Weaponizing how? gay. How? You, you, like gay. You weaponized gay. You weaponized gay. Three, you weaponized gay so much during this podcast. How? You called us dick riders. Yup. Right? Yes. You started it. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, no, you I didn't. Did. Women started riding dick. Okay? Yeah. That's, the way, that's the way God planned it. Originally, oh, yeah. women are the original dick riders. Hold oh, on. God damn lie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you think these guys are dick riders? Yeah. You think these two yeah. guys right here are dick riders? Yeah. <laughs> We started this game. You right. did it first. Okay? Yeah, that's crazy. We did it first. You Taylor. called us dick riders. Okay. You, you, you pulled up a video of Jaden and Justin. Why is that? Hold on. Why are y'all offended by that? To Why are you shame by that? That's not shame. shame. I just said you and Alex do it. And then you're like, oh, no. You now y'all scared. How, you said this no, how y'all look right now. This is what we do. Yeah. Why would you weponize what they were doing? How am I Why can't two it? men show love to each other? They can't. Huh? That's exactly that's what you Philly got the high murder rate he got now. Because a tough ass like you. <laughs> right. That's why Philly got the high murder rate. It does. Okay? Yo, it's true. Right. That is a fact. That is okay? a fact. Trying to yo. please tough ass women like you. Yo. All right? That pee when they standing up. Yo. You're going to stall in Philly like this. Okay? Oh, That's what y'all be fucking doing. All right? Come on. All right? Come on, now you want to pull up little Uzi and say this how y'all look. Nope. Y'all know. I'm weaponizing is, gay. I'm saying this weaponizing is what y'all want to do around Drake. Because y'all hype, right? You gotta That's stop what I'm it. saying. You got to stop weaponizing you gotta stop again. I'm just imitating what y'all are doing. That's you got to stop this. Because you like dick riding. So do you, apparently. No, I like giving props what props to do. Just like when Kendrick drops, hopefully this week, because he's on the fucking clock. And if he fucks around and Drake drops again tomorrow, because at the end of that record, after the academic sample, another record does come on. And Drake says, I was trying to keep it PG. PG is the label that Kendrick Lamar and Dave Free have started called PG Lang. So it's a double entendre, and he got it ready to go. If he fucks around and drops that today, because this podcast, we could, we could drop it today just to prove a point. If, if, if he fucks around and drops a back-to-back -back part two today, whoa. 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 That's right. whoa. What do you think happens to whoa. you? Whoa. What do you think happens to you? <laughs> whoa. Taylor, what do you think whoa, happens Taylor. to you if that happens? Whoa. 
<laughs> I'm, I love Kendrick Lamar, but as a Kendrick Lamar fan, if Drake, if he let Drake drop two back to back, when you've been saying you want war all these years, I'm gonna feel like all the fans that how they felt with J Cole. Yeah. I'm gonna feel. Mm. What does that mean? Are you gonna turn your back on him? Yeah. No, I'm disappointed in him. I don't. I'm not turning my back on J Cole. I hope Kendrick is ready. And 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 by the way, I know Kendrick is ready, but I just feel like if you've been throwing these subliminals for all of these years. You did the big three record a few weeks ago. You finally got what you what? seem to have wanted, which is Drake giving you a full record. You should be ready, bro. Mm. Like you should be ready. Cause the more you wait, the more anticipation builds up and the more you can't live up to that hype. Think about uh, Dr. Dre detox album. Think about, um, mm. think about uh, anything that, what was some other stuff that had like anticipation? Like we, you heard about it for so long, for so long, for so long, you was just like, oh, oh. And, and when it came out, it didn't live up to your expectations because it had way too much hype. Which is why when Beyonce dropped her album back in the day with no marketing, no promotion, that was such a great thing. Yeah, because they had no expectations. None. Low expectations, key to life. That's the key to life. That's why it's dope when artists do that. When artists just give you something, it's just like, oh shit, you wasn't expecting it. Yeah, if you hype, 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 we're gonna build this idea of what it is in our brains that's that right. we never meet. That's right. And that's probably happening right now. That's why Rick Rose. What is that? Like how he just came back Ross in two seconds. Playing. And it yeah. was like. Ross came right yeah. back. Uh, we just all listened to it. I was like, yo, this sound good. Every, <laughs> you right? And everybody was like, yo, this shit sound dope. Because he ain't waste no time. Mm -hmm. He hit him that night. The more Kendrick waits, the more anticipation builds. And whatever he puts out may or may not live up to the hype. I said that this record push up is Drake's takeover. I don't think it's as good uh, a, a record musically, even though it's really good. I don't think it's, and maybe I'm just, just, just time biased because I've been listening to TakeOver for so long. But this is his TakeOver. Because on TakeOver, Jay went at yeah, a few people. Yeah. He went at Mob Deep, he went at Nas, yeah. he gave half a bars to you know, other people. Yeah. But he went at more than one person. And then that made Nas make Ether. Mm -hmm. So if this is Drake's TakeOver, me as a 45-year-old hip-hop fan born in 1978, I'm expecting Kendrick after years of subliminals, well, not even not, not even subliminals, like yeah. sort of direct subliminals, like in there, we know who we talking about. After years of that, and what I just heard on that like that record, I need something eat the You're level. Expecting ether. I'm expecting ether. And level. he's giving you the opportunity to give it to him. Without takeover, there is no ether. Mm. So Kendrick so, has the opportunity right to deliver his generation's ether. That's, it's right there to create a new word in the vernacular. Ether is a word that we use now. Mm -hmm. He has the opportunity to do that for his generation. It's teed up, ready to go. It's right there. It's right there. Taylor, Taylor you look like you lost a pet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you, you're disheveled Kendra, right now. I have no problem saying when I'm wrong, Taylor. Okay? I don't want to be wrong either. I want Kendrick to come out and do what I believe Kendrick is capable of doing. I just don't know if... Uh, at this point, like I said, the longer Kendrick's waits, he's going to make the audience be ready to shut the shit down. Hmm. Them two AI tracks dropped this morning. I didn't like one of them was super whack. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> the owl hunting was a little bit better, but even when I heard that, I'm like, that's not Kendrick. But either way, people were ready. Hungry. They, they were ready Hungry. to shoot it down. They were ready to be like, nah, this ain't it. They were ready for that. If he drops something and it's mid... Do you think that he will say it was AI? <laughs> That's a good point. I, I, I think that happened already. Nah. No, you, you think didn't. one of those was real? Yeah. No, you don't. Which one you thought was real? The, the one that hunting. the one that's bad? Not the owl hunting, the other one. I if according to a lot of people, they're saying that was real. I mean, I would say that too. I mean, that's the other thing. You can muddy the water so much now. Like you could just throw shit out. If I was Drake, I'd be doing that. Mm -hmm. I'd make AI tracks and throw them out there, Kendrick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, and, yeah, that's a good And, and say this is an AI record. They scared to drop. Drop your shit. Yo, that's the other thing. Drake, Drake said, yo, you, you put that record out that you've been sitting on for four years. And I hope Kendrick don't do nothing silly. I hope it's not like a, a Kendrick record featuring Rihanna or something. You know what I mean? Just wait, 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 what do you mean? Like, I just don't want that. Like, something like, I want just the, I want straight bars, rap. Drake gave you straight bars, rap. I want that. I don't want no big production. Yeah, but what if he gives you bars, but a Rihanna hook that makes it a hit? Then you have your back-to-back -back song. 
because that's what I'm afraid of. He won't have a song that's actually commercially sounding good. We know what this. We never heard a diss record with a with singing on it, have we? I can't think of that. What diss record has singing on it? Singing yeah. on a hook? I guess not. But I'm just saying, if the bars is there, would you want Rihanna to be dissing Drake? That'd be wild. <laughs> why not? <laughs> <laughs> why not? That would be imagine. wild. That, that, would, that would be imagine. wild. That would be wild. Imagine. That would be wild. She probably know a few things. Let's let's move on to something else where Taylor has a fit over there. She yeah, can't Taylor, take it. She can't the, even like, focus so, on her I job. Didn't this shit how is crazy. You were I didn't either. That. This is wild, yo. And she wore all black like it's a funeral today. It does what feel that way. What the fuck is going on, <laughs> it yo? It does feel that way. This is crazy. There's Why are you time. sizing me up? I'm not OVO. <laughs> What are you doing? I can't tell. I'm not I can't tell. Because <laughs> I'm giving him props for a you're great You're doing diss. more than giving him props, though. That's what you're not giving. This is a really wow. good diss record. It's really that good to me. Okay, black so... black men can't be complimentary, yo, or else you dick riding. <laughs> it's true. That's this is a up. really good diss record. And by the way, I don't want to hear from no other rapper except for Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar, you are on the clock. Salute to Ross. I don't want to hear Ross. I don't want to hear nobody. You know what, though? The only other person musically I wouldn't mind hearing probably is Future, though. Just to see what he would do. Mm. Yeah, how would he... That's what I'm saying. He's not a, He's not like that kind of rapper. Yeah. So I would just want to see it and, and hear it just to see what he would do. But other than that, I want the main event. Aubrey Graham versus Kendrick Lamar, yeah. okay? Canada versus California. I feel like future right? got to be all subliminals. Nah, not now. Nah. No, subliminals are off the table now. I'm saying in the way that he raps, like the way that he creates songs, yeah. it has to be like below him. So he has to talk about it without even, even seeming as if he's talking about it. Yeah. Like I've never seen him be so direct. Like every line is just like, he's the man. I yeah. just fucked your bitch with some Gucci flip-flops. Like it's just, so, you're so beneath him. So to go at somebody as your equal adversary, it just seems unlike him musically. Yeah, Does that yeah, make yeah, sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas like Kendrick and Drake, I could see them going at each other. Musically. Musically. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't I know. I want to put Future in the top four then. He's in like in his own category. No, he's in the Fantastic Four. You know what? I, even like back in the day when Jay-Z said that, when he said who's the best MCs, Biggie, Jay-Z, and Nas, he should have put Pac in there too. Like Pac, there was a Fantastic Four even back then. Yeah, it was all. It's always a fan. It's always like a Fantastic Four. We just do the three why things. Why was Pac never included? That's crazy. Because it's New York bias. Yeah, yeah. that's why. <laughs> like, <laughs> like literally, it was New York bias. That's the other thing too. I was thinking about all of these. Even when you talk about the Fantastic Four, nobody from New York is in it. All of these rap beefs going around. All of these spitters ain't nobody from New York. That's what's happening. What right? happened to the East Coast, <laughs> son? I mean, my God. What did happen? What happened? You got J. Cole from North Carolina, Drake from Canada, Kendrick from Compton, and Future from Atlanta. Not one. We could kind of claim Cole. Like, I feel no, his, his formative no, years were spent here no, in, in he Queens. Here? Cole is North Carolina all day. He'll tell you that. No. Yeah. The fact that y'all even got to kind of claim somebody is sad. <laughs> yeah. This is New York we talking yeah. about. Yeah, where, yeah, where what are the rappers to the from New, New York? York spitters? Who's the most famous rapper from New York right now? Cardi fucking Ice Spice. Oh, Ice. Yeah. Cardi, Ice, 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 Spice. Ice Spice. It's all women in Nikki. Yeah, Nikki. Like, all right, right now, currently active. Yeah. yeah. Nikki, Ice Spice. <laughs> what about Lotto? Who? Oh, we're talking about, I'm sorry. Just New York. I'm just talking about female rappers, my bad. <laughs> That's interesting. So it's all female rappers, huh? Right now. At well, why the do moment, you think that is? We're progressive. What are the women? What, what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know? I guess it would be like, um, um, what's his face? Pop Smoke, like if he oh, had, he'd have been a superstar. Yeah, exactly. Like if superstar. he hadn't been killed, he would have been like the next generation superstar. of New York rap superstar. Out of here, Salute to yeah, Pop. yeah. And so that that void has not been filled at all. Interesting. I waited four days, y'all. Where died at? <laughs> this is beyond yeah. hyping him up. Chill out. Remember your skin complexion. All I'm simply... Drake what does that have to do with everything? You ain't never... Y'all ain't never thought about Drake being white until, I know, until Raw great. said it. That's not true. First of all, I'm the OG Drake that's hater. That's true. I'm an OG... That's why it sounds so crazy. I'm an OG right veteran now. Drake hater. That's why it's so crazy. I never played the white card. I, I played care. the gay card. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I played the albino card. I've never called Drake white. Ever. But he is. And I'm but, the OG Drake hater. 
He what did you did used to say he had to say Nick because you knew he was. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Cole should say Nick too while we at yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. Cole <laughs> and Drake should say Nick. Oh, okay. the best rappers are white, huh? <laughs> is that a fact? <laughs> no. Nah. That is kind of a fact of life. You are a hype too. What life? You're, I'm just I'm just pointing out facts. It's one song. I yeah. never saw them That's as white. That's all it takes. I and never if, saw them as white. And if Kendra Until comes, you said it, now I'm like, yeah, they're white. I guess if, we're the best. If Kendra comes with some shit, <laughs> I'm going to come in here and give a fair analysis of that too. If he comes in here with some shit, that's like, oh shit. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to give it up for Kendrick too. But do you that's, think Kendrick is white enough to come up with good rap? <laughs> According to your philosophy, the best rappers are white. This is Drake and J. Cole. I never said that. You did say that they were the best. I kind of did say that. Yes. I never said that. That, I mean, that never came out It was mouth. kind of implied. It, you implied it. So, so How does, Kendrick, I imply? does Kendrick need help? Do I need to go there and slide him some bars real quick? It's cra- and it's crazy how you Why say you slap it's crazy how you say you don't want the white boy to win, but you voted for Barack Obama. White boy. Oh, don't do that, Sabra. White boy. <laughs> you voted for President Barack Obama. That's a so white. Are we talking about politics? Are you talking about hip hop? No, 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 no. You said you didn't want the white. Why'd you want the white boy to win then? Because you know I mean? Barack Obama is more black. No, no, no. How? no. I, how is he more black? Hey, it's black and white. It's exactly. the same thing. Came out of black white daddy, vagina, white mama. Raised by the white mama. Because it's about the That's black white. dad, isn't it? Why Drake got a black dad? dad. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God, <laughs> yo. Kendrick, please. Kendrick, yeah. Kendrick, <laughs> you, gotta Kendrick you gotta drop. Kendrick, 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 Kendrick on, you on the clock. Kendrick, you see what you're doing? Save you see what you're doing <laughs> to your fans? Kendrick! Save Kendrick, Taylor, yo. Taylor became Kendrick. a whole racist. Kendrick. <laughs> <laughs> a whole racist. Out of support for you. She just started hating the whole race of people. Out of support for you, if you don't drop this, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> so what's going to happen next week? I don't know either, man. I really don't know. Kendrick, if you fuck around and don't drop we need this week drop. or by this weekend, I don't know what's going to happen Taylor to your Taylor's going to come yo. and nuke Canada. <laughs> I'm going to still support you. I'm going to still ride with you, but I just... I'm always going to ride with Kendrick. But you, but you can't be like this. Yeah, it can't you got to be like more objective. You got to have your head up. You can't, you can't be like this, yo. Yeah, you're so First of all, cool. I'm ready to fight y'all right now. What the fuck are you talking about? Why you want to fight us? <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> why do we? Why? I don't get what it. What did we do? Why are you trying to fight? What did we do? You can't fight the white. <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> you can't. Taylor. You know what I mean? You're not on, proving you to us that everything's going to be all right right now. <laughs> I'm you getting really annoyed because you're just, I don't like that you just hype. Like you Because really I like right hip hop. I was listening What's this wrong? weekend like, yes. This I like crazy. all this shit. Yeah, yeah. I like watching Drake, Drake do this. I like props. watching Ross do, Ross do this. I like watching academics going crazy on the live. Yeah. I like this shit. Hip hop is okay? back. Okay? I like watching this shit. I love it. It's dope. back. White people really saved hip hop. What are you saying about it? It really took a white man to save hip hop. Hip hop, you was know, there, there no. might be something to that because Lotto showed Lotto put out a picture of her white mother. Thank you. Like, like, like. Thank you. She did. What do you think she got on like her birthday or something? That's I don't know what it was for. Like, Why hell? can't you be proud of your white moms? Well, I don't. I can't relate, so I don't. But if you did have a white moms, you would be proud of her. I right. would probably be even better. Apple pie. Uh, no. It'd be apple. Oh. Apple and pumpkin. I would be confused <laughs> to tell. It would. It would definitely not be sweet potatoes. Well, okay. sweet potatoes. Well, it would be apple and pumpkin. Sweet potatoes. But it would be fire. The pie would be elite. I don't like this discussion. Why do you not like white people all of a sudden? You've known me for so long. I'm white. Yeah. I've been kind to you. I didn't say you. I didn't like white half people. A white boy, I literally didn't say that at all. A half a white boy puts out one good <laughs> dish record. And you hate all white to people? Who we, to, uh, to a goat. Another goat. Kendrick Lamar. Okay? It's how you're dick riding. I'm giving them props. Oh. This, and I'm going to do the... I didn't do... So so hold on. Three no, weeks no, no, Three weeks ago, was I not in here showing Kendrick the same yes, love? Yes, you know? he was. Was I not jumping out the window for Kendrick? Yes, you were. Taylor, don't you understand racism now? Like, don't you understand how... <laughs> like, it took one tiny little thing for a half a white person to do for you to hate all white people. Don't you understand crazy. why white people don't like black people sometimes? You get Holy it? shit. Do you get it now? <laughs> do you... Sound crazy. I'm I just I'm said, saying what you're I doing. I never said I didn't like white people though. I think you did. No, I didn't. I said I don't want the white boy to win. That doesn't mean I hate him. Strictly because of the color of his skin. No. What about the black man that exists in him too? Yeah, there's a black. What about the black man that exists in him? There's a black. What about the black person him. that exists in him, yo? <laughs> We don't ever talk about Isn't that struggle enough. Is that a Debbie, though, or something like that? Oh, my, oh my God. 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 Jesus. 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 Jesus.
Jesus. Kendrick, please drop a record. I'm Yo, begging you, Taylor man. needs yeah, it. No, God please, damn. Please, please, please drop it, Kendrick. Hey. Start talking about his kid, listen, too, after. Listen. Why? No. You're not you in the I studio. Taylor, Pips quick pipe down. You gotta pipe down. God damn. There is a black. There is a white boy inside of that black man. This is crazy. And I'm not talking about the Gerard Carmichael show. That's right. There is a white boy inside that black man. That does not take away his blackness. Okay? It does not take away his blackness. There's nothing wrong with that. Let me say something. Why can't we support Let people based on the content look, of their character? I have as much not Drake the color look, I have as much, I have as much Drake songs as there are Kendrick songs, right? But like I said, Kendrick is my favorite rapper. So anything he's mine against, too. he's one of mine too. But I'm not gonna be as hype as you. That's all I'm saying. I mean, you don't love hip hop, then. Mm. That's no, it doesn't. You don't love hip hop. I don't need to agree with you to be a dick rider. Fine, it's not dick rider. Yes, it is. Top five best white people. Go. And you got to and you got to stop saying you got to stop saying you got to stop shaming dick riders when you dick ride. And by the way, I don't call what you doing dick riding. You are a fan of Kendrick Lamar. Your mom. No. She is top 5. She's not in your top 5 white people of all time. That's not top 5. That's top 3. That would be 5. Come on, yo. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How's my mind? How do I feel about that? I know, that's fire. You see how easy that was? Come on, Kendrick. That's Not it. my mom. That's all we need is your mom. <laughs> you think Kendrick plays the race card? He can't. Can't, right? Yeah. Not tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the short chain one, though. It's kind of, what? Pip squeak fight down. Pip squeak pipe down that's is funny. Fire. That's funny as that's shit. That's fire. That's funny as shit. Nah, the size seven, that was fire too. Size seven is fire. Well, they say it's nine and a half, actually. Why is he? Yeah, what? 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 Okay, the ball is all in your court right now. Oh, God. All right? Aubrey is on Instagram throwing out memes. He having a good old time sending marching bands to Magic City. He is bullying everybody right now. It is kind Except of crazy. for Ross. Ross ain't Yo, playing. Ross, I have Ross to be honest, playing. Ross is exceptional. He, 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 he is exceptional. You're not going out funny, Ross. Yo, and we were saying this, he's he's just so funny. He's, you're not going out funny, And Ross. he's having so much fun. That's right. That's the thing. Nobody's okay. having more fun than him. That's and right. it's kind of infectious. And plus, Ross went through the storm with the greatest of all the, time. The great the goat, the goat yeah, beef like, guy. Yeah. That's 50 Cent. So nobody's gonna he, touch. He, he, nothing you're gonna say to Ross. That he hasn't it's heard already before, out yeah. there. Okay, I'm a cop, so what? Yeah. I was a CEO, so what? Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's go. Like Ross, Ross Yeah, you don't want to beef with Ross. Ross is battle tested. Wanna, yeah, you don't want to beef with I Ross. I didn't really understand him wearing Drake's shirt. I didn't get it. I didn't think it was funny. Well, Drake wore Meek's shirt during their battle. He wore a free Meek shirt. See, you're not hip hop. You don't know that type mm. of stuff. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It's fun. It's antagonizing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just all about antagonizing. I wouldn't look at, like, if I saw... At a time like this, it's just about antagonizing. 50 but I'm saying if I was Drake that, and I'm seeing him wear my shirt, like, okay. Like, I don't get the... At a time like this, it's about antagonizing. 50 Cent understands that. Ross understands that. Drake understands that. Yes, he does. Pat Canadian understands nah, antagonizing good. people, he's man. Good. He's good. He's good. If he sends you five bottles again, it's a wrap. Why would he six, do that? But, oh, six. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what could he possibly send now? Yeah. Nothing. There's nothing that you need? No. Peace and tranquility? No, I don't need these niggas for nothing. I don't know none of these niggas. I ain't never interviewed Drake in my life. Interviewed Kendrick like a couple of times. Of course, Ross a few times. I don't need any of them for nothing. I'm a fan. I like sitting back How watching. How nice is it? How nice is it's it the to best. just enjoy? It's the best. I like sitting back watching. And a like, nice, yo, safe raft if, beef. If this is we don't dope. have to worry about people dying. This is great. I don't know. What do you mean? Oh, God. What do you mean? <laughs> what did she Go just ahead. say? I didn't hear it. <laughs> she just did she just say, so I don't know. White people make it safe? Who's going to die, Taylor? Taylor, who's going to get shot? Rita, I... <laughs> 
why does Taylor want this to resort to violence? It is kind of crazy. It's unbelievable. This is a cool beef. They've been. It's gonna be fine. It's just about bars. It's just about who's the better artist. That's it. It's not about violence. It's no. not about fighting. It's about who is better skill with the pen. That's it. And right now. Mm-hmm. Right now, at this moment at of this recording juncture, this, this, on this juncture. Tuesday, Can both y'all April wipe 16th, y'all on this Tuesday, April 16th, <laughs> Drake is up. <laughs> but wait, what, wipe our mouths with what? What's what? What are you saying? Y'all been sucking too much Drake's dick. Because <laughs> you won't leave any of Kendrick's for us. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have any. And Kendrick don't. <laughs> and Kendrick that don't deserve true. a dick suck right now. That is true. Kendrick does not. We sucked Kendrick's dick a few weeks ago. Yeah. He wow. doesn't deserve a dick suck right that now. This is true. Right now, you, all, you can still wipe your mouth. Right Right now, all the dick sucking belongs to Aubrey Grant. Okay? It is true. All right? That is true. Now, what's the problem? You out here sucking for no reason. You know what I mean? <laughs> you sucking for no reason. That's right. You know what I mean? Don't ever disrespect Kendrick. Now, can y'all read the ad? Hold on, what just happened? Can you read the ad? Hold on. It would be... I thought you said she was sucking. I know. Is it disrespectful? <laughs> yeah, are you know, trans, Kendrick? No, you said... Him? Are you trans, Kendrick? What is going no, on? No, because you said... What is I'm happening? Listen, y'all? listen, I'm going off of you saying I was sucking Kendrick's dick, right? Who so said you- that? Nobody said that. <laughs> Who said you were sucking Kendrick's Nobody dick? Nobody said that. <laughs> okay. Who said you was sucking dick? We got just, just all this talk of white boys sucking dick and everybody. Just stop, okay? This episode of the Carmichael Show was brought to you by Rocket Money. Okay? Did you know nearly 75% of people... <laughs> Did you know nearly... Let's pay some bills for real. Rocket Money. You got to keep that. You got to keep that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of Brilliant Idiots is sponsored by Rocket Money. Did you know nearly 75% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about? Before we started using Rocket Money, um, I didn't know how many subscriptions I had. Because, you know, you might want to watch something. And so then you go download the app, forget you have it, watch it. Don't watch anything else on there ever again. So I couldn't believe it when they showed me I was paying for like six or seven subscriptions each month between streaming services, fitness apps, and delivery services. It's never ending. Thanks to Rocket Money, I'm no longer wasting money on the ones I forgot about. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, I have full control over my subscriptions and a clear view of my expenses. I can see all of my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something I don't want, Rocket Money can help me cancel it with a few taps. I love how the dashboard shows me this month's spending compared to last month so I can clearly see my spending habits. Plus, they'll help me create a custom budget and keep my spending on track. Rocket Money will even try to negotiate lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with customer service for you. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and it saved the total of 500 million, god damn, and cancel subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash idiots. That's rocketmoney.com slash idiots. Rocketmoney.com slash idiots. Knock out this Squarespace, Shoti. This episode has also been brought to you by Squarespace. Thank you guys so much for supporting this week's podcast. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Whether you're starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all on your terms. Start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system. Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or business, and optimized for every device. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. With Fluid Engine, the next generation website editor from Squarespace, it's never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. Choose your website starting point and customize every design detail with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. Stretch your imagination online with Fluid Engine. Include in any new Squarespace site. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to the show. Church announcements this weekend. I will be in the Life Tour. I will be in Nashville, Austin, and Phoenix. We just added a second show. Uh, 
Thank you all so much, man. Uh, last weekend was crazy. Jacksonville, Atlanta, and Charlotte, man. Thank you so much for everybody who came out. It was incredible. TheAngelShows.com for tickets to all the rest of the shows on the tour. And then uh, May 3rd and 4th, man, Madison Square Garden, New York City. Uh, it is going to be special, man. I cannot, I cannot fucking wait. I can't fucking wait. I'm getting a suit made for that shit. Oh, my boy. We doing tuxes or just suits? Um, we might have to, might have to suit it up. We might have to suit it up. Let's see. Suits? Okay. Let's see. Rat pack shit? Might have to do some rat pack shit, right. my boy. I'm with it. Okay, what about you, man? Uh, church announcements for me. Um, Alice Randall, salute to the good sister Alice Randall, uh, professor at Vanderbilt University. Her book, My Black Country, is out right now. Um, she's making her rounds. You saw her on Good Morning America. Uh, she did Kelly Clarkson. Um, she did Kelly Clarkson today as well. Um, and the book, when I looked on Amazon, because she put out an album with the book too. So it was like the book was number one, the album was like number two, and like the audio was number four. So thank y'all, man, for going out there and getting Alice Randall, My Black Country. People Let's wanted go. to learn more about country music. You know, they got this thing called the Beyonce effect. And I don't want to sound like I'm dick riding because Taylor doesn't like me dick riding. <laughs> but Beyonce is, has caused... They said cowboy hats, cowboy boots, Levi jeans. Let's go. Like they've caused, they, she's caused the bump in all of these Let's things. Let's go. Because of her song with Post Malone is about Levi's or some shit like I that. I love it. It's, I love it's it. It's titled Levi's, yeah. So, you know, hopefully that's working for my black country too. Because my black country is all about uh, black people's past, present, and future in country music. So go get that. My book, uh, Get Honest or Die Lying, Why Small Talk Sucks. That'll be out May 21st. Everywhere you buy books, it's, it's uh, my new book. Um, you know, me and, me and Chris Moreau, we sat down and we collaborated on another one. And this book is literally just about how I hate small talk. I think we spend too much time, you know, focusing on micros. So we need to start focusing on uh, macros. I actually saw this great quote from Robert Greene where Robert Greene was talking about people who make small things big are like the most foolish people in the world. Mm. And like you should just stay away from them at all costs. Like people who make the smallest things big. I can't remember the exact quote. I'll send it to Dwayne so you can insert it in it. A fool is somebody that doesn't have a, the right kind of sense of priorities in life. They magnify the little things that we should just not worry about into some huge dramatic thing. And the huge dramatic things they completely ignore. They have no sense of proportion. And we encounter them every day in our lives. And in fact, we encounter a little a bit of them in ourselves. And uh, the second annual Black Effect Podcast Festival is happening April 27th in Atlanta, Georgia. Go get your tickets. You only got a couple weeks left. They're going to be sold out really, really soon. The VIP is already sold out. Uh, Wallow and Gilly going to be on that podcast stage. Mandy and Weezy Harbor Decisions going to be on that stage. Paul Mines Podcast. Dre and Lex going to be on that stage. Jess Hilarious is going to be on that stage doing Carefully Reckless. She'll be doing Just Fix My Mess Live. Uh, Debbie Brown. Deeply Well, she'll be on that stage. Will Lucas, Black Tech, Green Money. We got a great panel. Hold on, we got a couple of great panels. I'm going to tell y'all to line up for this one, though. Uh, this panel is John Hope Bryant, Denise Bennett, Damon John, Ashana Ayers, and Will Lucas will be moderating. It's the Podcast 102 Money and Marketing panel. So, yeah. April 27th, go to eventbrite.com right now, get your tickets. Go to blackeffect.com slash podcast festival to get your tickets. Let's get back to the show. Um, did you watch the WNBA draft? Um, I, I did not watch it, no, but I saw uh, some highlights. Have you seen this conversation started back about the pay disparity between the WNBA and the NBA? I mean, yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's kind of like it's it's almost like people aren't um they just don't understand math and they don't understand how the economy works. You don't just make the same amount of money because the league is called the same thing but for women. Yeah. You make the amount of money that's generated. They actually make a disproportionate amount of the money generated. In other words, the NBA players make less uh less money or a smaller percentage of the total money generated than the WNBA players make. So that they're unfairly compensated. Ideally, as many people that watch the college final watch WNBA games, and then all of a sudden the league will explode and they'll make all more money. There was this NBA player, I don't know if you guys remember his name. His name was Michael Jordan. Changed the game. And he changed the way that NBA players got paid. NBA players were making a fraction of what they got paid. I'm glad you said that. they get paid now. And it, so it's going to take a Caitlin Clark. Listen, if you're a WNBA player, you're upset about the pay, be Michael Jordan. Step I'm it up. I'm glad you said that. because Be I, more I, compelling. I read an article earlier that said, this person in the article was saying one person 
can't change no, they can't. the pay disparity in the WNBA. They literally do. Well. I think one can. One can. <clears throat> because we saw it in the NBA. So we, but, saw, we saw with Bird and Magic, it happens throughout mm -hmm. history. You're going to jump and have these new plateaus. They just have to have a new plateau, and the girls have to go out there and play in a, the game in a way that just makes us need to watch. That happened with Caitlin Clark. That happened with her in college. You saw the numbers. Like, people showed up to watch the game. And they, they, they say it's due to revenue differences between the WNBA and the WNBA. I just read this whole thing about it. I mean, it's 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 really quite simple. I'm trying to find it accurate. The more money you make, the more money that— It's about TV. Yeah, it's the TV It's the rights. TV deals. Yes, that's yeah, part of it. I mean, yeah. that's how the NBA, NBA players really get paid. It's, these TV deals are crazy. And, and the then, NBA splits about half of all its income with players. Yeah. The WNBA shares 50% of incremental revenue, excess money after the league hits a revenue target. NBA splits 50% of all its income with players. So I know a lot of the WNBA players are trying to get that changed as well. The problem is they don't generate enough money to pay for things. So things need to get paid off first. Yes. So it's like they don't generate enough money to rent out the arena that day. So you need ticket sales, merchandise, food and beverage sales, local broadcasting rights. All of that is used to pay salaries. The NBA brings in $10 billion a year. The WNBA recorded an estimated $200 million in revenue last year. And the other thing is the NBA has... Well, how many teams? Way more teams. Like 36 teams? 32. 32. Mm -hmm. but yeah. The NBA, the WNBA has 12, I believe. Yeah. And uh, the WNBA plays 40 games. NBA plays 82. So plus playoffs and all that shit like that. You're make much less just That's based it. on the amount of games. That's it. But, but the NBA is 30 teams. Say again? 30 teams. 30. But you're going to make more, okay. ideally, if you have these transformative players. Uh, Curry is a version of that. Like the more players that are out there that you need to watch, the more people watch and the more money they make. It's very simple. So I don't think that this is like how a lot of people are masquerading it, which is, oh, look at this sexism. The patriarchy is trying to pay these girls. It's not that. There's nothing that the WNBA or the NBA would like more than to pay women more. This is the generation they that's going to change. They don't make the money. I truly believe this is the generation Yo, that's going to change it. They I might. believe this draft right here, this draft class, on, on top of everything the WNBA already has been doing, this draft class is going to change it. And it's not going to change over the next year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be something that takes... It's trending in the right direction is what Dude, I'm saying. you look at tennis. There are these two tennis players, female tennis players. I don't know if you've heard of them before. They're from Compton. They are from Compton, yeah. California. They've only... They lose a lot of people from Canada, though. Do they? Yeah. When, when does that happen? <laughs> Who is it? I mean, I, I did hear about this. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But what yeah. exactly happened? I don't remember. Yeah. I just heard that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah. didn't really watch tennis like yeah, that. But yeah, I respect yeah. the girls from Compton, the women One, from Compton. Unbelievable. One of them is the greatest female player of all of time. Of all time. Yes. Those women made some real serious money playing tennis. That's right. Do you have a napkin over there? <laughs> Why? You need it? No, clearly y'all do though. <laughs> what? From what? You got you got something right here. I didn't say anything. I'm trying to talk about Venus and Serena. It's so crazy how we're in here, born into Venus and Serena, and here we you can't come. even compliment black women without you interrupting. Yeah, Bianca, Bianca and Drisu became the first Canadian in history to win a Grand Slam singles title with her straight set, set victory over Serena Williams. Straight sets. Yep. This is August 30th, 2022. Wow. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, and and crazy. straight sets means what? Like she wins two sets in a row. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So does. two sets in a row without any anything else coming from. I don't know what a straight set is. God, Neither does Rod Carmichael. <laughs> 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 Love you, Gerard. Yo, it's a joke. Yo, we love Come you, on. Gerard. No, all jokes aside, this yeah. is gonna be the draft that changes things. I hope so. I do. I believe I want that. them to make. I want them to make more money than the guys. Mm -hmm. I would love that. That'd be amazing. I hope they make more money than the guys. Well, that's gonna take. How do you feel about Ice Cube offering her five mil? <sighs> I'm not bad at it. I mean, why not? Like, she's only gonna make what three hundred thousand for four years, you know? I think she's four hundred and eighty thousand or something like that. Yeah, and it was for eight 400, games, four hundred thousand. Maybe like, it was three hundred. Sorry. Man, I'm not mad at her. I, 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 I mean, I don't know. I, I would. I wouldn't have took the money if I was her, because I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't want to look like a sideshow, because that's what she would be in the big three. And she would kind of get Aww. exposed. I she's mean, gonna be playing against NBA guys. It's not fair. Yeah, and you don't want to play against these early two thousand NBA guys. Yeah, but <laughs> for getting uh, they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For getting they playing against the nah, young nah, girls you know, from true, Iowa. But, you don't want that. But they but, old. They can't move as fast. Like she, she could probably. Yeah, hey, but you come down in the paint. What I'm supposed to do, Alex? Alex, Alex she got a jumper. She don't Alex, need to come down the paint. Alex, she could just stay out there and just. Alex, nah, Alex, nah. Alex, nah. Alex, nah. Alex, nah. Alex. It'd be a side. What show. we don't want right now 
is this stupid fucking thing that I've always been asking for. I'm always like, oh, let me play a WNBA player. I'll show you a good deal. The last thing we want is when the entire world is watching female basketball, for it to be dismissed and discredited by playing against guys and then getting absolutely destroyed. That that will happen if they play against any guy. In the big three. No, not any guy. Any guy. Cam, I'm, uh, it's about five girls on here bust your ass, Andrew. Cameron Brink busts your ass. No. Camilla, but stunningly beautiful. Camilla Cardoso all these busts girls, your I, ass. That's another thing about this uh, the, the, this draft class. It's like, they're they're like stunning. I'm Aaliyah like looking Edwards at these. busts your ass. Come on, stop it, stop it. But I don't want to play Angel Reese them. busts your ass. I, I, all day. Stop it. Okay. I mean, <laughs> what you I mean, talking like, about? I don't even know how Yo, to take this seriously. Yo, Cameron Brink is 6'7", I, be, I think. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Look it up. Carmilla Cardoso, definitely 6'7". Cameron Brink about, I think she's 6'7", yo. I mean, she might be, but the, but they're all... She's 6'4". 6'4"? How? Camilla's 6'7". They're beautiful, they're talented, and the people are into it, and that's what matters. That's what matters. I love it. I watched, I watched the WNBA draft last night, excited to watch it. Really? Yes, I sat there and watched. I wanted to see where these players were going. I think the Chicago Sky are going to be must-see TV with motherfucking Angel Reese and uh, Camilla Cardoso, the new Twin Towers. Camilla playing center, Angel playing power forward. I think Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston in Indiana is going to be must-see TV. And it was a feel-good story. Fucking Kate Martin, she's just there to watch Caitlin, you know, get picked number Wait, one. Is Cameron Brink going to... Where is she going? To the Sparks, Los Angeles Sparks. She, oh, wow. Kate Martin is just in the audience with the rest of She's Iowa. She's going to be a billionaire, that girl. Why? Because a six foot four, blonde hair, blue eyed, beautiful supermodel that could play basketball and is in Los Angeles. Let's go. It's like the, get the money. The money. The, get my, the money. My, my, I actually am concerned about Caitlin being in Indiana. Like she's in such a small market. No. You almost want to David Stern the draft no. and then get her. In, no, they, are, her. they already said they're going to put all her games on. She's a Midwestern uh, girl. ESPN. Wait. She's comfortable. She's home. It's like Braun in Cleveland. Iowa, Iowa was the most watched basketball team in women's college basketball. Sure, sure. sure. What I'm trying to say is imagine her in New York. With um, the celebs in the crowd and exactly. all that. That's what you want to see. Yeah. You want to see celebs showing up to the game, sitting front row, wearing her fucking jersey. You want to see her in every single Subway commercial. You want to see her in every... You need they her in New York. Said, Fuck it. It's the league is at stake right now. We need to go... Cameron Brink looks L.A. That shit right. don't matter no more, yo. Charlamagne, please. The earth is flat. Yeah. <laughs> no, I understand like, what you're saying. Yeah, nobody cares. And that no is more. kind of true. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah nobody cares. It's not, I mean, look because at this. Because Braun was still Braun in Cleveland. Like, yes. That didn't make a difference it at all. Care. Nobody cares. Look at that. God. That girl Yo, Golden can State. also play basketball better than most women ever. Listen, o Golden Oakland is in California, huh. but Golden State was not a, a, a considered a basketball hub until the Warriors came. Like, it don't matter. Like, it don't yeah, matter where you at no more. Here's the difference is that, like, the NBA is already the most interesting league. The WNBA is not. There's not a lot of intrigue. So you at least want to start with the big cities. I love uh, Cardoza and uh, Angel Reese going to Chicago. That's a big market. Or we didn't I give a fuck about I Iowa. Until Caitlin Clark. No, but the thing is, with college basketball, we just care about the star. So we liked it when Steph was at Davidson just shooting threes nonstop. Like we'll take we'll 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 take interest in these weird, like tiny schools that we would never even know where they are right. during the tournament. But when you what you want is Caitlin in New York, or you want Caitlin in LA, you want Kate. What is the other big market? You team? love the Timberwolves right now. Anthony Edwards. Box but office. what I'm saying is that I they're do. They're going to move him out of Minnesota soon, and they shouldn't. But Drew, isn't if, this? Sorry to interrupt. Oh. If if Anthony Edwards was in New York right now, he'd be broke. Forty seven percent in taxes. <laughs> he'd be getting his ass handed to him. Okay, while he might be broke, <laughs> while he might be broke, he would be. I mean, I can't even imagine startup like Jalen Brunson is so why already Jaylen an not absolute. A star? He is a superstar. No, People he's love not. him. Anthony, he's an NBA star. Anthony Edwards is a superstar. I don't like, you know, just look at the kid. Every time he talks, you're yeah. like, oh, my God, this guy's got gravity. I don't even know if Jalen is an NBA star yet. We love him as a player, yeah, but I, I don't even think he's an NBA star. I think he's, he's much in New bigger York. here in New York than the rest of the NBA looking at him. Really? Yeah. Like, here he's a legend. New York, 
Yeah, he's a legend. Yo, Janet can do whatever he wants yeah. in the city. This is his city right now, especially. But I'm saying, like, like the rest of the NBA, I don't think they're looking at him like that. I yet. think uh, maybe. Oh, you're saying fans of other teams? Yes. they're not looking at him in the same way that people are looking at Ant. They're not looking. Okay. And, but that's also a game thing. Like his game is incredibly effective, but it's Ant's game is highlights. Every he's dunking on you from the fucking free throw line, yeah. like. Whereas, whereas Jalen is incredibly efficient. Like his ability to score, he's so crafty, so smart. His ability to finish is incredible, but it's not necessarily the thing that's going to go on the ESPN top 10. His stat line will drop in 50 mm. might, but the, a specific thing he does in it isn't going to hit there. Anthony Edwards could score eight points, go uh, two for 40 shooting and dunk on one guy from the free throw good. line. And that's all we're talking about. Yeah. There's an Anthony in LA right now. That don't nobody. He's he don't, I mean, he's balling. He's getting paid, but he's not a superstar. But his game is not desirable. Anthony Desire, Davis. Yeah, nobody wants to play like Anthony Davis. He's incredibly efficient. He's great at what he does. But nobody's like, I I want to play like him. It was the same thing as Tim Duncan. It's like Tim Duncan was the most efficient player ever. But nobody was like, man, I can't wait to play like Tim Duncan. I don't even know if Anthony Davis is a superstar in, in L.A. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, he, well, I mean, so that's he, what I think. The, the market thing is. I don't think. I think you, that's a thing of the past. It's how you play the game, bro. It's like AI. The way he played the game was the way that we all want to play it. Philly, though. Philly ain't a huge market. Seventh biggest city in the country, I think, or something like that. I mean, it's a pretty. Big I think market, it's top ten. It should be top ten. You know what I think? Uh, Caitlin will be good on Indiana. She'll act like how Messi is for. American soccer, how okay. every time he goes to a different stadium, they get like a oh, burst in crazy. sales. Yeah. So now they already like, said like, yeah. uh, I think for the Aces game, they already got to have it in a different arena oh, in wow. Vegas. No way. When Iowa goes there, yeah. When when sorry when, when Indiana, Iowa goes to play the Aces, Indiana plays the Aces. Not oh Iowa. shit, Iowa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. When Indiana goes to play the Aces, hmm. they got to have it in a bigger arena. Yeah. Wow. They already they already. Listen, I love this. This is the best possible fucking thing. Just so we can hear these women stop yapping. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I want women to get paid more. And it, it, the WNBA is on their way. They said Caitlyn's going to make $3 million in endorsements this year, which I think is very low, by the way. I think Caitlin, For endorsements? I think Caitlyn's going to make tons of money in endorsements. I think her playing... I, I actually... And shout out to Ice Cube, but like I think her playing in the WNBA is actually better for Absolutely. her endorsement wise. Like she'll get the bigger deals. Absolutely. She's going to get a sneaker. Like, yo, that girl, Sabrina Ionescu. Nice. First of all, she Nike, but her sneaker is fire. Okay. She got a sneaker? She has a sneaker by Nike hmm. that is objectively one of the best looking basketball sneakers they put out. And I see NBA dudes hooping in her sneaker. Oh, wow. So that's another thing. If you give, when they do give Caitlyn a sneaker and they better, Take your time with that shit. Make it heat. Yeah. How, and how the Make fuck? Make it heat. How the fuck? Uh, Asia Wilson don't got a sneaker yet. Is her game? Does her game make you want to buy it? Hell yeah, Asia's a beast. And, and then who's she sponsored by? That's the other thing. She's with Rich Paul. Her, Rich Paul is her agent. No, no, but like, who's her? Like, is it Adidas? Is it Nike? Is it? Oh, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't think she's with nobody. That's I don't know. Maybe she is. I don't. I don't Definitely know. Sure. But they, I, they listen, I think work. it's awesome. It's great to see. And the cool thing about it is, if they make tons of money because of the interest, it really shuts down the conversation about any pay gap. It makes it very simple. Drum up interest for your sport, your activity, your art, whatever it is, and you will make more money regardless of sex. I genuinely... Well, I, there's still some institutional, systemic things that they got to jump It's not on. to discredit that there is yeah, sexism, yeah. That, that these things exist in the world, right? Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, I believe that if they generate the views... The next time they have a negotiation for the deals, that new negotiation, they'll yeah. pay based on the new views, and then all those people make money. Charles Barkley didn't make close to the amount of money that LeBron made. Not even close. But he was instrumental in bringing the NBA to a level That's where right. they could negotiate this, those deals that get LeBron This paid. is going to be them. These are, I, This class right here and the classes for the next five years, 10 I think years, you're right. they're going to be the women that 20 years from now are mad that these women and, is making so much yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. And, right. Yeah. And, and, and call what? it what it is. Like, the fact that they're beautiful helps the marketing. <laughs> it, I, I know it's, like, silly to say, but it is true, and it's unfortunate for women. Women have to be not only talented, they also have to be beautiful for, beautiful for there to be interest. To your point about this... It's unfortunate, this, but and that is sexism. That's the shit that we could talk about. Hmm. But the fact that they are is only going to increase viewership, increase intrigue, increase brands that want to be part of it. Like, yeah. these girls are going to go crazy. Can I give... I want to give the WNBA and the NBA an idea because, you know, I'm such a marketing creative genius. Yes. Uh, I would like for NBA All-Star Weekend 
to add a game. You could actually take away a game. You could probably get rid of the celebrity game because this is kind of a combination. You get rid of the celebrity game and you have the best WNBA players against men who think that women don't stand a chance on the court with them. So the Andrew Schultzes of the world. You don't want that. You know, other, just, uh, but, uh, other they don't not even go, don't gotta be athletes. They don't have to be athletes. Not athletes. Charlotte. People like you. Charlotte, don't, 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 it's not worth it. It's people not, like you. They have nothing to Because if they win. lose, it's bad. Well, they <laughs> lose, they lose. Charlotte, they've done this If before. they lose, they lose. Yeah. We still gonna love them the same. No, no they, we no, not. Yes, we, so if Kendrick loses, we not gonna love Kendrick the same. Some people won't. That's stupid. Well, it is stupid. Silly. And it is stupid. It is silly, silly. But that is that is unfortunately the fact. That's just how people are. If a bunch of Andrews beat all the best WNBA players, I ain't brand. never watching well, NBA. But no, but the, the, the women have to know no that. Offense, the Drew, women gotta I come in. The women gotta come in and be like, we representing for women, and we representing for women ball players, and we gotta shut these dudes that think they can beat us up just because they got dicks. That's great for the sport. That'd be a great game to watch. Oh, everybody's going to watch right. it. The problem is they gain nothing by beating the regular Joe men because they're professionals and they get paid millions of dollars, i.e. with, uh, with the sponsorships. Yes, and, they will. But listen, listen, listen. If they beat the regular guys, nobody is going to go, oh, my God, great job, girls. They're going to be like, you should. You're professionals. You, you know what you're doing right dollars. now? What? You know what you're doing right now? You're not being a misogynist. Look at this through the lens of a misogynist. Okay. Through the, a misogynist's eyes, they're like, y'all are women. Forget the pro shit. This is, okay, women. This is what misogynists say if they do it. They this go, is women. This is men. They go, I think they're trans. <laughs> great storyline. <laughs> now we got some great storylines. Yes. You went out there with her. You was I out there something. with her. You was trying to hold her. I she was busting something. your ass. He was like, yo, I'm going to be honest with you. Yo. I know she dropped 35. <laughs> I know y'all see the jump shot. Nah, but you I see saw the, a bulge. There was a bulge, bro. And that shit hit me. Storyline. <laughs> she jump dunk shit hit me in the chin. Now we talking. <laughs> now <laughs> we fuck. Now we talking. This is why this would be a great game. You get nah. your, your regular Joe Blows, guys like Andrew, other celebrities who think they can just beat women because they're women. And you get the best WNBA players Put them up against each other. Let's go. Don't do this. This Don't was this. Battle of the Sexes in the 70s. And it didn't work what out. What was that? Billy Jean King versus Bobby Riggs. That sounds like two men. What happened? <laughs> it does. <laughs> Who's the woman? It does. Oh, Bobby was the woman. Bobby yeah. Riggs was, I think he was 55. He was a male pro tennis player, and he took on Billy Jean King, who was probably a woman in her 20s. Uh -huh. Biggest media event of the 70s. See what I'm saying? Wait for it. She won. She won, and that probably catapulted Female tennis. Sure, and then you forward. had Martina Navratilova, you had Chrissy Everett, you had all the stars that came after You're that. You're proving my point. She History repeats win. itself. No, hold on, hold on. She didn't play a regular Joe like me. She played an ex-male tennis player. Yeah, he was on the senior circuit. But, he, but he, before he was on the senior circuit, he was... I don't think he was great, but he was a legitimate... Professional, no? Yes, yeah, okay, sure. so he was a professional. So they have to beat ex-pro basketball players that are 55. There's no chance. No, I don't want ex-pros, though. I want Andrew Schultz and other guys that are celebrities who think they can beat the women. Oh, God. Charlotte, it's not going to be You. Good. I'm serious. You go get Theo Vaughn. Not good. <laughs> you go get fucking <laughs> Shane Gillis. This, this, this is, this is must-see TV. Don, yeah, it's it must is. fucking see. <laughs> Donnell Rollins. It's hilarious. It would be hilarious, that yo. Be behind go get wall. Gilly. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because Gilly, Gilly ain't going to play. Gilly cooking all Gilly time. cooking. He don't give Gilly a fuck. Cooking Gilly all going out there to cook. No, nah, All right? Nah, nah. Gilly Gilly's ain't playing. Gilly's dropping a 30 ball. It's going to be crazy. Go ahead. Why not? I mean, I'm in. Let's go, NBA. I'm in without a doubt. You know I'm in without a Come doubt. Come on, man. But I don't think it's a good idea because we're going to wash them, but I'm in without a doubt. But that's <laughs> even better. The, t the trash talk leading up to it, yada, yada. Why do you think you're going to beat them, Schultz? These are the best basketball players, women basketball players in the world. Why do you think you can beat them? Well, I've already beat some of the best male basketball players. Mm. Okay, okay. So why okay. would I not beat the females? Mm. Boom. Ooh, now we got mm. storylines. You see how angry she got? Mm. Well, you're not going to see Andrew and Caitlyn in the same room together anyway. But... <laughs> Who? You know you're dissing Caitlyn. Yo, how? How am I dissing her? You're, Damn, you're dissing Caitlyn. How am I dissing Caitlyn? This girl's a ratchet, bro. This girl's a ratchet. How am I dissing Caitlyn? Because you're saying Caitlyn looks like a man. <laughs> 
You gotta think these things through, Taylor. I know you. I know white people got you in a frenzy this week. They what really you do. Gotta think they these really things. Do. I'm just making observations. Chris, no, white, move your new balance you away. Those, rope, those so. new balance are a little too white, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. those aren't even the cool <laughs> new balance you wear. <laughs> no, no. Those new balance are setting the rope. White people bro. got Taylor like, on the ropes. Whoa, <laughs> you really on the ropes? Whoa, how you let the whites get you on the ropes, yo? yo. You on the ropes and Kendrick on the fucking clock, okay? <laughs> I don't like Jess is right. I don't like how you act. What? <laughs> I don't like it. What? Kendrick is on the clock. Express your emotions. Mm. No. Talk to us. Explain it. I'm done. Tell us. Tell us about. Um. <laughs> can you tell us? One? Okay. I don't know. We can talk about someone else. Can you tell us one? White. One cool okay. thing. OJ Simpson got, died. Got What's your favorite thing about white people? <laughs> OJ Simpson. Say it, Taylor. OJ Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, OJ Simpson died after this. You got any more bills after this? No. All right, we, we go to Ask the Natives after this. OJ Simpson died. Yeah. Your thoughts? <laughs> um, man, no, I don't really have any thoughts. Me neither, yo. I yeah. was doing an interview with a with the New York Times, man, and. She asked me that, and I'm like, I don't have any thoughts yeah, on OJ like, Simpson. What do you dying? want me to think? What do you like, want? What am I supposed to say in this situation? Like, do you have any thoughts on OJ? No. <laughs> and and it's weird to me when people keep saying things like OJ, that's his karma. People, he was 76 years old and he died of prostate cancer. The average age for men in America is like 73 and a half. So he beat that. And he died of prostate cancer. That can kill anybody. That's facts. Health is not, we got to stop saying health is karma. Mm. Health is not karma. Cancer is not karma, y'all. Anybody can get cancer. What are we doing? Yeah, that's true. Like cancer, yeah, well, maybe when he was younger would have been it. But cancer after the age Even of, young. Like, yeah. cancer's cancer. Anybody, it happens. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, so yeah, I'm not really, like, I'm not out here celebrating it, you know? But it doesn't really affect me in any way. And, and Caitlyn damn. tweeted, "Good riddance." If she hadn't put hashtag OJ Simpson, I would have thought she was talking. I would have thought she got the surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought she finally got the fucking <laughs> surgery. <laughs> okay, I did not know if she had the hashtag OJ, bro. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm saying. Um, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, who you got this week? Is it this week already? Yes, yeah, Saturday. Four twenty. Yo, Perfect day, Ryan. Gonna go in there high. Here's the thing. You don't need nothing else. I, yo, get Devin Haney at some point in time needs to pull Ryan aside and say, thank you. Thank you so much for carrying the promotional weight of this fight. Thank you so much for getting people interested in this fight. Thank you so much for providing money for my family, providing money for my coaches, providing a lifestyle for all of us because I don't think Devin did a single thing to promote this fight. Ryan has been on fire for the last few weeks. Yeah, you know, so in terms of when Ryan did Breakfast Club, Ryan was saying how he does not want the fight to be moved to Brooklyn. This is before the fight moved to Brooklyn. It was supposed to be in Las Vegas. He was like, I don't want the fight to be moved to Brooklyn. He was like, I just don't think Brooklyn is a good place to the, for the fight. And he's probably right because I read today how low the ticket sales are in Brooklyn. No way. They're like, yo, there's nobody buying tickets to go to this fight on Saturday. Yeah, that's there's, crazy. I didn't even know it was in Brooklyn. Yeah, I was looking. Well, I didn't know it was coming already. Yeah, it's, it's wow, Saturday. so then maybe I'm wrong. I figured everybody was going to buy it, but maybe we're not going to buy it. Not, I mean, the pay, I think Ryan will do good on the pay-per-view. Got it. Like Ryan, like Devin's last pay per view, I think did fifty thousand. Ryan, fifty thousand, fifty. Yeah, Ryan and Tank did, I think one point three. I don't know what Ryan's last fight did. I'm sure it was in the seven hundred thousands, probably. Because people, he's a draw. I'm, I'm gonna order the fight on Saturday. I'm definitely watching, and I'm not sleeping on Ryan either. Where's Devin from? San Francisco, I believe. Well, he's born in San Francisco. So they're both West Coast dudes. Yeah. So why is the fight not out there? I don't I'm so know. confused about that. Yeah, I don't know why. Do it in L.A., do it in Vegas. Do it, but why would you put in a place where nobody really has any relation to them? Why were they deciding to move there anyway, though? I mean, they do, they've do. they been doing some good fights in Brooklyn. I just don't know why they would do this one in Brooklyn. Yeah, that doesn't even this make sense. This is going to be interesting, man. I got my money on. I don't, I'm don't. i not sleeping on Ryan at all. I would have done it in Philly, actually. You think so? 
Damn, if you're gonna go, good fight been in Philly. I don't well, know. It, I mean, uh, what's it called? Devin's Muslim. So you bring out the, the whole black Muslim community in Philly. Hopefully they come out, support them. Like you have to have some sort of community that you believe is going to come out and support you. There's nobody in New York who's like, yo, Ryan is our guy. He's part of our community. This is what we got to go do. And apparently there's none of that with well, uh, he's Devin Spanish, either. he's Spanish though, right? I think he's Mexican. And we have Mexicans in New York, but it's not as big as yeah. if a Mexican community in, in California. A lot more came recently too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if they can. They'll be <laughs> yeah. in the fight. So. They here for the fight. That's why they came. <laughs> they gonna get the free hotel, watch the fight at the Barclays, and then go back. That's funny. Oh Let's do some asking idiots Taylor game. Wait, you didn't want to talk about Kai and that? Nah, let's do, no, let's do some asking idiots. Let's do some asking idiots Taylor game. Taylor game. Melvin Jones, 76, said, why is Andrew trying so hard to have a bad haircut? Yo, why do, why, why do you, a man, care so much about my haircut? <laughs> That's it. You know, you know what I'm you know what I'm it is weird to what be What if so he's a barber? What if he's a barber and he's like, I can do a better job? Nah, you're right, Melvin. Melvin, if you're a barber, then, then I, that makes a good ass. That's a good ass. What if he's part. like, I know you think your shit fire, but you ain't seen me yet. First of all, I don't think it's fire. I know it is. There you go. Uh, Henrock87 says, if your dick was on your forehead, how long could you keep it hard so you're not gay? I don't get it. Because if, if it fell down, it touched your mouth. Depends how big it is. How long could you keep it? Yeah, because if it gets soft, and also my nose is going to protect a lot of it. So, Yo, by the way, even if you're just sniffing it, that make that would make you gay. Is that gay, though? If you're sniffing a dick, sniffing dick might be the wildest. You don't do that regularly? Sniff it? Like, to you actually don't scratch your balls and smell nah, it? No, 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 that's different. Like, to take your nose and put it up to a dick and go, you don't think that's crazy? Snuffle luff a dick? That's <laughs> <laughs> wild, bro. I mean, if it... Yeah, it depends the context of what you're doing. If it's like a prank, you know what I mean? If it's like, nah. hey, smell what's in this box and it's a dick and you no. don't know. Yeah. I don't know if that's gay. different, bro. That's different. That's <laughs> wild. I think <laughs> intent matters for gay. What if you're sniffing a line off a dick? That's that's like some wild shit, but it's like... I also think it's addiction. I think you have a real problem with addiction. <laughs> but people would, but that's what I'm saying. People would say it would be about the coke. It would be about the cock. Yeah, like if you but, just if you just take your nose and you sniff yeah. the dick, you're like, damn, this guy really likes dick. Well, you're addicted to one of them, but that's addiction. But if you sniff the coke off the cock, yeah, it's the cocaine. That would be the story. Yo, they was in there wilding, sniffing coke off dick. Nah, you're right. You you're know right. what I'm saying? But the other thing you could also say is he don't even like cocaine. He's just in the closet, and that's the only way he can get his mouth and nose close to a dick. So he's just doing lines off dick. That's crazy. And he's just like a frat boy about it. He's like, yo, it'd be funny if we just sniff lines on each other's dicks. Right that's nose? crazy. And then yo. they do it, but the reality is he just wants to touch dicks. Damn. You yeah. sniffing and sneaking licks. So you're like... Yo, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you hitting the envelope real quick back in the day. <laughs> that dick was no, huge. <laughs> the one you just did it to was humongous. You did it from here to here, Charlemagne. That was insane. <laughs> what the fuck? How much cocaine is even on that? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bam Talk says the Seed of Gods Publishing Company publish art books. We publish all types of books, man. Right now we got four books on the market. Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built. Uh, Anita Kopak, Shallow Waters, that is a fictional book. Uh, Invisible Generals, but my man Doug Melville tells the amazing story of his uh, great-great-grandfather who was one of the first World War II, black World War II generals. And uh, Lisa, Alice Randall, I'm sorry, Alice Randall with My Black Country is out right now. And oh, we got some heat on the way. Some heat, heat, heat. Yes. Uh, what else we got, Taylor? Hmm. Yo, I gotta, I gotta say something. Ooh. Brilliant idiots uh, asking idiot questions. Fantastic. Are really good. Fantastic. There's like a lot of like hypotheticals. Mm -hmm. There's thought that goes into them. German underscore Lizard says, "What's the next new thing after podcasting that will be a different level?" Uh, I think the next new thing after podcasting will just be podcasting evolving into a more um, 
a virtual experience where everybody can be a part of it. So like the metaverse. So like there'll be a way that the brilliant idiots can be doing what we're doing right now. And instead of listening to us or watching us on YouTube, you can feel like you're actually in the room mm. with us. That's fire. You know what I'm saying? Like you can sit where Taylor's sitting or you can sit where Chris is sitting or you can sit where yeah. Alex is sitting or you could actually, you could sit in my seat and see my angle of Andrew, oh, sit wow. in Andrew's seat, see his angle of me. Like, I feel like uh, that's going to be the next level. That's been something I've been thinking about for a while, even like with Breakfast Club, right? Because Breakfast Club got so many classic moments that people like to rewatch. But what if you could actually be sitting in the studio Yo, we should do while that. Birdman is Real. in there? We should have a chair that's just here. Like, once it gets to that level, yeah. we could have a chair that's just here and then a camera angle. Well, I don't even know a camera angle, but basically... No, we wow. can do that. Like 360 cam right Put in the Put a 360 middle. cam. And then yeah. it allows people that have like the Vision Pro or yeah. whatever the Facebook one is to have that guest seat or brilliant idiot yeah. seat. And now you're just in the conversation you're with the us conversation? even though you're not saying anything. And, and I, know, really cool. I, I know some people who have... I've met some people recently who have, because I've been thinking about this for some years, but then I've met some people who have the technology that can actually make something like this happen. And I think that's the next level, not even just for podcasting, for like audio books, right? Like, let's say you buy my new book, Get Honest to Die Trying, Why Small Talk Sucks. As I'm reading the book, you, you're, it's like you're sitting there watching me actually Read it, read it yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Or what about when you take it to a whole other level and it's like, choose your own adventure books, but you actually got virtual glasses on and you're actually in the adventure while you're reading. You're not yeah. just reading it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's going to make, it's going to take everything to the next level. Porn, all of that. But like, th just those experiences of like, feeling like you're there yeah. while this stuff is happening. Same way people do with the games and shit now, but just a little bit yeah. more... I agree. I, I think that's great. You know what also I think is a uh, specificity. So like LeBron and JJ Reddick put out that podcast, right? Where they're like just talking like they're just nerding out about basketball. Mm -hmm. And I think that the same thing happens with everything is like everything just gets the more popular the genre gets, the more specific it gets. So like when magazines first came out, they would touch on a whole litany of things. And then as magazines got more and more popular, they got really specific. I'm a, I'm a, a uh, duck hunting magazine, or I'm a, uh, a small boat magazine, jet ski magazine, like really yeah. specific interests that have like niche groups of people that are really obsessed with them. And I think that you'll see that more and more with podcasting where it's like, instead of doing what the legacy podcasts have done, like we've done, which is basically talking pop culture and topics yeah, and yeah, creating yeah. that, it'll be, here's a podcast about uh, tech cameras specifically and we talk about them geek out with them and review them i think that kind of will happen i think the next thing is going to be people start living the truman show because like now you're doing streaming but in real life streaming oh yeah and now i think somebody is just going to be like i'm 24 7 365 uh, in real life streaming yeah My and then God. you interact with another person who's 24 7 3 and now you bring in your you will see yeah. guy. that's what us, yeah. that's what and, and that's what Gerard is trying to do. He said he said that specifically. He's trying to Truman show himself. I think it's I think it's impossible unless you're doing it exactly like how you just said it. I think whenever you got a camera crew and a bunch of editors and like y'all are putting out something weekly, it's, it's already, impossible. But it's already happening. Like that's what streamers are doing. Yeah. Yeah. That's, like, what I'm that's not like a novel thing. Like yeah. the streamers have been doing this for a while, and now the fact that they can like take their cameras out and have good battery life and yeah. like stream in real time and that the Wi-Fi is good enough and just the signal in general is good enough to have these streams yeah. going. They are doing this. So this is what is popular right now. Mm -hmm. um, but I agree with you that it's hard to maintain your authenticity in a situation where you know the world is watching. That's right. And then there's also an edit to it. That's right. You it's create impossible. these storylines. Absolutely. It's like, yeah. Um, I think we did it. Uh, that's it for this week. Um, just want to let y'all know, once again, Kendrick Lamar is on the clock. Okay? Love him. Uh, I hope he replies. I uh, hope he replies with some heat. Like I said, I think Drake has gave us his takeover. Now it's time for Kendrick to give us his ether, if he got it. But well, he's on the clock. And if we put this out on Wednesday, and, you know, Drake has already delivered a back-to-back -back part two, hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's all I'm saying. That's Every all he should have been saying. <laughs> if you listen to this podcast, <laughs> you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant. You're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.